Okay. Is that welcome? Okay. All right. Good. All right. Let's get the old keyboard plugged in here. Hello, Chris. In the general chat. <laughs> Wrong channel. <laughs> okay. Look in the esports. Esports keyboard I'm using for the Windows 98 <laughs> adventure game. Okay, get the, the esports mouse turned on. Okay. I really like this setup. This setup works really well for uh, for the stream last night. Here, I'll show you in case in case you don't know what uh, what setup I'm using for for PC games here. Uh, let's get this turned on. All right, so we're playing off of the the OLED here. I still got the chat. Hey, chat. Uh, the remote monitor here and then the notes machine and then I have on this little laptop cart in front of me we got the the little one-handed keyboard here and then this uh, this wireless mouse uh, so this has got Bluetooth and um, uh, 2.4 gigahertz so it's got the there's a second USB port on this thing so I just plug in the 2.4 gigahertz dongle to this and then that goes to the the computer and we got this this really nice setup here for this uh for this little desk for um for these types of games and there's all the other stuff over there got all that all ready to go i used to have a bunch more consoles on here but i uh i moved them back into their their storage up here while i'm uh working on other stuff and i gotta get the gotta get the place cleaned up like i have a bunch of a bunch of stuff over there i gotta clean up because i was doing uh electronics work over the last week or so. Alright. So hello folks, welcome. Yep, you're in the right channel now, Chris. By the way, Chris, thank you for, for archiving those um, those VODs for me. I grabbed those from, from your site and I, I got those on mine. I'm going to be putting those up on YouTube and, uh, um, and on my own VOD server. So thank you again for, <laughs> for keeping... Keeping the lost history of of late 2016 VODs for me. Alright. <laughs> Hello, Mediocre Mason. You can catch a stream. Yep, this, this is a rare weekend stream for me. Rare weekend stream. I har hardly ever stream on weekends, but here we are. Actually, I used to stream Sunday night, so I guess that's not quite true. But hey, here we are. All right. <clears throat> so hopefully y'all had a fantastic day. My day could have been better. Both my, my NBA teams lost today. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, well, they still have good records, though. So it's, it's fine. Okay, so King's Quest Massive Eternity. Um, I'm going to keep this as an adventure game in here, but I think towards the end we're probably going to change this to what it should be, which I have a feeling is uh, this is so far more of an action-adventure game rather than an adventure game. Um, I got something coming in the mail tomorrow, apparently. Cool. Um, so yeah, this this is probably going to be reclassified when we're done with it. Who knows? It might turn into a completely different game towards the, the second half, but who knows? Uh, so we're about three and a half hours into it. Um, 
we got all the way through the the Daventry section, and we are, I don't know, maybe a quarter of the way, I'm guessing, through the, the Land of the Dead. Um, haven't run into any real roadblocks in terms of progression or anything. Like, it, the game feels a little easy, but it is the beginning of the game, so... It's probably going to get more difficult and pick up in terms of puzzles and, and combat later. But so far, the the puzzles and puzzle solution has been, Hey, do you have the axe? If so, hit this thing with the axe. Puzzle solved. <laughs> and there's been, like, one proper puzzle so far, which has been the... Um, uh, the jumping puzzle in the Land of the Dead. And there's also, we had to do kind of a fetch quest to, to make a spell to get to the Land of the Dead, but that... That was less of a, a puzzle and more like, hey, go find these things. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> hopefully there there's more puzzle ass puzzles later on. But we'll see. We shall see. All right. So as if that recap wasn't enough, here is what happened previously on King's Quest: The Mask of Eternity. Previously. It got King Graham. No! Alack. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> this is like Mortal Kombat now. Alright, pig, you want some? I have a feeling that he probably can't swim. So this guy can can punch somebody in half with two punches, but but can he swim? Oh, he just kind of <laughs> Wait, is that it? Hold on. But oh yeah. <laughs> this is ready to go. I knew it. <laughs> that totally is a doom sound effect. <laughs> so I could just, I could solve this puzzle or I could just punch everything. What? Uh, I, uh, 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 um. <laughs> oh no, is this a jumping puzzle? A weapon will not help me here. Oh no. <laughs> oh, zounds, zounds. Zounds. All right. Unmute the game here. All right, King's Quest: Mask of the Mask of Eternity. Let's start the timer here. All right, <laughs> this game is sure is something that uh, that's gonna be a zounds for me, dog. All right, Dimension of Death Three. Dimension of Death. Hey, get there. All is well. All is well. So far. So I, I changed this to the um, the digital input for uh, for this. So this should actually be more accurate now. Um, it was kind of going between 20 and 30 throughout uh, most of the game before. Uh, but now it should actually be accurate. So if I move the mouse, yeah, the mouse is updating at about 30, 40. And then he's animating at 15-ish. So yeah, that, that should actually be accurate now. Okay. So... So we're in the second area of the game. Um, where's his neck? It's, uh, it's one of those pixels over there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, so this is the second area of the game. We already did... Almost all of Daventry. 
So this is where we started the game up here. Um, as far as unresolved things in Daventry, there is... Up here, there is a unicorn that's missing its horn because uh, there is a, a poisoned, poisoned pond in here. So that's that's something. Um, this this half stoned wizard is possibly unresolved, and I believe that's about it. Uh, there's also this area here, which is the um, the healing well. So I might be coming back there later. This is the teleport point right here, uh, and coincidentally, we're right next to the one. Right here is the teleport point for the land of the dead so the dimension of death that we're currently in this is where we started and where we had kind of the jumping puzzle and then we were tasked by the the ruler of dead land to make it through to the other side which is like there there's an entrance to the swamp or something somewhere somewhere on here so we certainly have a whole lot of map left to explore um according to the back of the box in the manual there's like five five big areas like this and then there's the the final boss area apparently so we still have quite a bit of game left to do uh let's see i am pretty sure that i i did a sequence break here last time so i <laughs> so normally you don't i don't think you're supposed to be able to make it over these walls because that happens but I did this last time. And I actually made it over. So <laughs> I'm not sure if that's uh, if that's intended or not, but hey, we did it. Um, as far as items in combat go in this game, you have a primary melee weapon here and one ranged weapon. Uh, the number is how much DPS you do, I think. Uh, you have armor as well, but that... Um, it's not like you can easily switch that out. The uh, the four slots here on the left are healing items, and on the right are magic items. Uh, this can be used to climb up stuff. These uh, stones have had no real use so far. And then up here is our quest items. Uh, the final goal of the game is to get all five pieces of the, the Mask of Eternity here, and then replace that to uh, its, its dais that it was on before. And that's... Uh, and that's pretty much what what we've done so far. So this uh, this game plays a whole lot more like a action RPG than a King's Quest adventure game so far. But I actually don't mind that because this uh, I actually like the the gameplay in this so far. Oh geez. There's another one, like, right here. <clears throat> oh, got him. Okay. Hey, Luro. Yeah, both both my teams lost tonight. Truth Oop. did not come into the world naked, but it came in images. One must enter through the image into the truth. What? Truth did not come into the world naked. But it came in images. Huh, okay. So, so far, there haven't been that many, like, in game riddles, so to say. Alright, hold on, I gotta remind myself what the, the combat controls are. So, you can, you can swap between the two, uh, two different types of weapons with the hotkey. And sometimes you gotta do that. On short notice. I want your soul. Like now. This appears to be a, a boss skeleton. Alright, sure. Okay. <clears throat> uh Okay, this looks like another one of those spots where I can cheese my way. There we go. 
Oh no. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. Let's let's backflip away from. There we go, okay. Alright, got him. Got him. <laughs> okay. Alright, she's accomplished. So another thing I gotta keep in mind when I'm playing this is that, uh... Um, so this bar down here is your health, and this is your XP, and your level's in the middle. Um, if you're almost about to level up, uh... I need to not be using healing items, because you get a full heal... Uh, on each level up. Yep, we gotta backflip away from our problems, as we do. Uh, this looks like a puzzle to me over here. I, I am also pretty dang sure that uh, you're not supposed to be able to be up here. Like the the manual says you can do a yeah you can't can't get up there like that, and a, a single forward jump won't work. Uh, can you actually get up there from a? A non-combat stance. Okay. Th this has got to be unintended. <laughs> okay. Oh, also, if you're you're wondering how I am playing this, because this is a tricky game to, to actually get running, I'm playing this on a, a modern system, actually, because that's uh, so far been the best best way I've I've found to play this. Even though I do have a computer from the from the time this game came out, um, oh, I missed. Great. Okay. Um. So I'm running this on Windows 10 through a uh. Essentially a video card emulator. It's called DG Voodoo 2. Have I already been here? Huh. This... this does not bode well. Oh jeez. <laughs> My chair keeps breaking on me here. Alright. Um... So yeah, there's a uh, there's something called DG Voodoo 2 that you can use to emulate an old 3D effects card. So I'm running that on Windows 10 on a modern system, and it's uh, it's running the game great. Good. Take it. All right. Foul blood. Whence came it? Foul blood. Whence came it? I uh, there's blood around here apparently. Okay. <clears throat> ah, there's the blood. Okay. Oh man, so healing items in this game have been really hard to come by. This is okay. This must be the river of death. Phew, what a foul stench arises from it. Okay. Alright, just backflip away from our problems. Okay, so we have 42 healing mushrooms, but they don't heal for much. So here, here's how much that heals for. Not much. So these heal for like a third of the life. These are probably half, and this is the full heal. And and that's it. That, that's all I got. So we'll, 
we'll do that. And then these, the, the magical, like, this is defense potion here. Those really haven't been dropping at all. Shedding of blood leads to the pallor of death. The blood of mortality poisons the land. Okay. I'm hitting the spike rather than the the zombie. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Okay. All right. That'll work. My little mini keyboard doesn't have an enter key on it, which is. Which is unfortunate. Okay. So, uh, if this is anything like the first area of the game, then once we kill an enemy, they're just gone. And they don't respawn. So I guess that that kind of makes up for the, the lack of... of healing items. But it just means you gotta be really careful on your... Your first time through areas so that you're not needlessly using healing. Beware the river of death. Its black water shall corrode all it touches. Okay. Alright, so this is... All that up there. So I'm guessing this whole area is just one big maze. Oh, okay. Sir Boatman, I require passage across the River of Death. Only souls of the deceased may embark thus. Thou art a man living. Just this once? <laughs> My vessel is incorporeal. Thou art physical. Then pray tell, how may a mortal man such as myself ever hope to cross the river? Seekest thou the bridge of life? Aye, sir, I shall. Thank you. The Bridge of Life? Where are the souls for transport, good boatman? Lord Asriel is imprisoned. All is chaos. The land bleeds. Aye, I noticed foul pools of blood. The Sacred Heart is wounded. The Deliverer must heal it. The Deliverer? Who might that be? The mortal one who wouldst be judged above all others. Ah, I see. I see. Sir Boatman, I would seek to heal the Sacred Heart. Might I be the Deliverer you aforementioned? The heart of the Deliverer wouldst be judged upon the scales of justice. Scales of justice? Equilibrium must be restored. Attain perfect balance against the feather of truth. Aye, I shall do so. Uh oh. Is this, is this Lamalana now? You aforementioned the feather of truth, good boatman. Where might such be found? Seekest thou the hall of respite? Judge the skulls on the left. Down creation, the one complete, stands out. What? Judge the skulls. Creation plus completion equals all things. Uh, thank you, sir. I shall keep that in mind. Pardon, Sir Boatman. Where did you say the feather of truth could be found? Seekest thou the hall of respite? Aye, I remember. Judge the skulls on the left. Down creation, the one complete stands out. Down creation plus completion equals all things. Thank you, good boatman. Judge the skulls on the left. Down creation. Alright, hold on. One more time. <laughs> Pardon, Sir Boatman. 
Where did you say the feather of truth could be found? Seekest thou the hall of respite? Aye, I remember. Judge the skulls on the left. Down creation, the one complete stands out. Down creation plus completion equals all things. Thank you, good boatman. I'm sure this is important. I, I, uh, sure. Okay, well, we're looking for the... The Hall of... Something? The Hall of Respite. Sure. Actually, what does the... What does the manual say about this? Alright, so the Dimension of Death... Uh, magical portals found in each... Portal's been silent, yeah. Holding place of souls awaiting judgment. And that's it. That's all it says about it. <laughs> okay. Sure. <sighs> sure. Okay. So it's, it's something about... Hmm. Be nice if this thing st started dropping healing items. Oh god. Okay. Oh man, can I... Can I cheese this? Alright. Yes! <laughs> Alright. Eat shit, skeletons. Got him. Alright. Only they dropped healing items. Okay, so there's there's something up there clearly. So let's see if we can backflip our way to to progress. All right, doesn't look like it. Can we ah? Can we do this? All right, not quite. Alright, doesn't look like we can get up there. Actually, unless we go from here. Alright, what if we... I'm sure I can just walk around. <laughs> like over there. Uh... Okay. Nope. Alright, rip. How about we just walk around? Which we can probably just do. That looked more like a loaf of bread. Why does this box have... Oh, it's for this. Sure? Whoever just and pure lights the torches of righteousness We'll meet the sylph of inner beauty. Hey, Spear X. How you doing, buddy? I was actually thinking about a lender today, by the way. <laughs> I can't remember why, but... Oh, yo! Okay, there... Good. Alright. Gotta remember this area. 
Here's our free heals. Cool. That's, uh, that is really handy if there's a... A free heal in every every land. <laughs> Sleep scud. Oh, so you're up during the day. <laughs> nice. Okay, so we got Hall of Respite. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, the Alunder is my my go-to uh, uh, PS1 testing game. Because I have actual discs of the Japanese and, and US versions, so I can test to see if my, uh, my modifications are working correctly on, uh, on my systems I've been working on. Okay, so the, the Hall of Respite says, Judge the skulls on the left, down creation, one complete stands out. So, so we have to do something here, apparently. All right. It must be a statue of Lord Asriel. Okay. All right, at least if, if we're going to be doing puzzles in this area, at least the music is good here. And there's this thing. I don't know, I don't know what the purpose of this is. It might be pushable. Oh, or not. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, um... This must be like a boss fight area or something. Hmm. Okay. Hey, Alyssa! Uh... <laughs> you could just punch it open. All right, let's see if this... Okay. Uh-oh. That one is filled with spooky ghosts. Okay. So that area here was where I was trying to jump into before. Good. I, I'm actually really glad that I found the, the temple here with the healing, because otherwise I would have to keep running back and forth to, to Daventry and go through all those load zones again. Okay, so those things we want to stay away from. <clears throat> hey, fruit. Good day, fruit. So according to the the manual, we need stones for for throwing at enemies, and also there's like pressure plates apparently. This looks like a great place for an ambush. Something, something down there made a sound. Hmm. Four thresholds to the halls of life. Dost thou seek war, respite, immortality, justice? Hmm. Okay. All right, I think dropping down there is probably a bad idea, so we'll we'll stay up here for now. I'm not sure what uh, what these arrows are pointing towards. I've seen these in a few places around uh, around this area. Okay, 
some more of those. So, as far as I can tell, healing items are finite in this game. Like, a, there is a, a currency in this game, so maybe you can buy them from somewhere, but I'm, I'm running the assumption that if I use a healing item, then that's it. It's just otherwise gone. And now that I know that there's a, a healing pool in this area, I'm going to err more on the side of caution in terms of healing, and I'll just come back here if I need to heal. Like, if I'm, I'm about to die in a, uh... Hall of Justice. Oh, okay. Hey, boys. Zounds. Come on, boys. it's Zounds, please. Whoever just and pure lights the torches of righteousness will meet the sylph of inner beauty. Okay. Um... Whoever just and pure lights the torches of righteousness. Hall of Immortality. Immortality. Okay. So we were told to, to seek the Hall of Respite, which is the one in the upper left. So it, it's Immortality, Respite, War? Hall of War. War, yeah. And then... Okay. So the boatman said Hall of Respite, judge the skulls on the left. Um, down creation, one complete, stands out. I, hmm. So judging the skull, I, I'm assuming those are the skulls. Does that mean I have to... It's not letting me click on them. Judge this. Curse. Hmm. Cryptic? Uh, so far, not really. Uh, like here. Since since we've had people rolling in uh, after the start. Here, I'll, I'll give you a brief summary video of what happened previously in the, the first bit of the game. Previously. It got King Graham. No! <laughs> Alack. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> this is like Mortal Kombat now. Alright, Pig, you want some? I have a feeling that he probably can't swim. So this guy can can punch somebody in half with two punches, but but can he swim? Oh, he just kind of <laughs> Wait, is that it? Hold on. But oh yeah. <laughs> this is ready to go. I knew it. <laughs> that totally is a doom sound effect. <laughs> so I could just, I could solve this puzzle or I could just punch everything. What? Uh, I, uh, 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 um. <laughs> oh no, is this a jumping puzzle? Her weapon will not help me here. Oh no. <laughs> oh, zounds. 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 All right, so that, that'll bring you up to speed on King's Quest. The Mask of Eternity. <laughs> yeah.
It's, uh, so the King's Quest series is mostly, uh, just point-and-click adventure games. Um, but for this one, this is the last one made by the original creators. Uh, it's more like an action RPG. Um, uh, so not really... Hasn't been too many puzzles, or, or, uh, like, the, the original King's Quest games were mostly exploration, item puzzles, and dialogue. And this is none of that. <laughs> But that doesn't mean this is bad, per se. I actually really like this game so far. Um, but this is like... This is almost Tomb Raider-esque, in a way. Like open world Tomb Raider with, with items, kind of. It's weird. This game is very weird. It must be a statue of Lord okay. Israel. But now that we're in the, the second area of the game, there's there's more puzzles, it looks like. Uh. It also doesn't help that this game has a draw distance of not very far. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh... Mic sounds a bit off. It's like too loud or uh, too clippy. Because I did change some settings here, so I can turn down the the compressor there. Hopefully that sounds a bit better for you. I've been trying to get it right, and and it turns out audio is difficult. Uh, okay, so that goes back to the the warp. Okay, all right. Thank you for telling me. All right. Uh... So there's still this. Okay, we haven't explored north of here. Okay. All right, thank you for letting me know. It was the uh, the compressor built into my um, my hardware mic processor. It is locked. Okay, so for this. Maybe that. This will not work. Okay. So there was. Oh God, what was it? We got something at the beginning of this area to unlock a gate just like this, and I forgot what the thing looked like. <laughs> I possess a square golden key. I carry a broken piece of iron shield. Huh. Okay. All right. We can't go there. I guess we're back to exploring. Give me your flesh. Okay. Got him. All right, this looks like something I can I can cheese up to. Nope. Actually, maybe you have to be like a step away from it to get up there properly. Okay. Oh well. Alright, I... That sounds like it's over here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely, like, right here. Hmm. There we go. In there. Alright, whatever it is, giving it to the business now. Stop mortal. Desist. Alright. Got him. And we got a free level up. Okay. Oh, I could have just. <laughs> Wait, this is, uh, this is behind that locked gate, isn't it? Oh, I could have just walked here. <laughs> Alright, whoops. 
cool sequence break. I could have just walked around the wall. Alright, we haven't been north of here. this. Yep, okay. Got him. Got him. I want your soul. Man, at, at 360 no scope. Alright. So this is on, uh, uh, normal difficulty, by the way. So this could be even easier, apparently. It is beyond my reach. Okay. I wonder, was there... Did the boatman say anything about breaking pots? I can't remember. I, I still just had this Judd Skulls on the left. Down creation, one complete stands out, and then there was there was some math problem he said at the end, but you know me in math. like this is where they've been hiding all of the healing items in this whole area. Okay. <clears throat> hey, my box. Yeah, so far it's been unlimited ammo for uh, the ranged weapon. Which is quite nice. At the very beginning I assumed that, that it wasn't unlimited, that this, this number was how many... was how much ammo you had, but nope, it's just the, the DPS that it does. And it does more than adequate damage. Okay. Oh, oh, jeez. Alright. Get some skeleton. <laughs> Alright. 1998 pathfinding. I will skin you and pick your bones. Hold up, skeleton. I'll be over here. Oh no. Alright, never mind. Could've just done that. It takes forever to switch weapons in this, though. Alright. We're back up at the river again. This is where the zombies were last time. Also, kind of the dumb thing about the crossbow is that you can you can back away while you're firing it. Who's the guy we're playing as? Some guy. No, it's just... It, it's literally some dude. His name is Connor, I think. The shedding of blood leads to the pallor of death. The blood of mortality poisons the land. Okay. I think that said that on a... Another marker somewhere else. Where 
the river of death, its black water shall... Yep. We're actually playing as Ken Williams. This is the, the early adventures of Ken Williams. Oh man, alright. That, that is so broken. That you can do that. <laughs> you can just back up while, sh while still attacking. So as long as it's one-on-one, -on -one, that makes that really easy. Okay. Alright, we've we've almost explored close to the map now. Okay, there's there's three skulls here. So judge skulls on left is what Riverman told us. Okay. That do anything. Oh. All right. We made it. Yep, this is this is the early years of Ken Williams. Hey Macaw. Yeah, this game is great. Uh, okay, Macaw, if you if you want to play this, um, so the, the the ISO of it is on archive.org. So get the get the ISO there. Um, you want a program called DG Voodoo 2? Uh, that's the the video emulator for it and then um, You want to use the patch for the game uh, That's on Sierra help and then it just runs on Windows 10 and it, it it runs fine as you can see so So that's how you play it. That's <laughs> that took me a while to figure out that that was what you needed to do to get this to work But that's how you do it. So I Highly recommend playing this and it hasn't crashed on me yet or anything. So You should be good to go Ooh, what's that moldy smell? <laughs> well, see, the problem here, Money, is that all the other Glide emulators don't work with this game. So, <laughs> it's DG Voodoo 2 or literally nothing. That's that's kind of the problem here. Uh, okay. How much they fix it for the GOG release? I have no idea if, if they do for the GOG release. But this is just how I personally got it working. Like I have my my disc over there as well. Um. So I'm using a. Uh, What's that moldy smell? Uh, some sort of ISO mounter for um for mounting the ISO in Windows 10. Um, and uh, I have the ISO on an NVMe SSD. I have the game installed on an NVMS NVMe SSD, and it still takes forever to load. <laughs> so that's that's actually normal if it uh, if it takes forever to load. It could be Macaw, but I I kind of doubt it because I have I've still heard that 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 version has issues. Um, and like like I've tried playing the playing the game on a legit Windows 98 PC it ran at like 5 FPS even on a machine that is over spec for it um, I also tried running it on a single core Windows XP machine uh, that has like a 2.5 gigahertz Athlon in it um, and like early 2000s hardware and that didn't run it well either <laughs> so so this on Windows 10 with DG Voodoo 2 is by far and away the the best way to play this game, and I spent like 10 hours fucking around with this in the last like two weeks. So that's that's been the results of my my experimentation. So yeah, this was exactly like Ultima 9. Yeah, yep. Because I bought this when it came out 20 plus years ago, and I, it didn't run on my machine back then. Uh, so this is this is the first time I have I have ever even played this game. Uh, okay, let's go back to the the temple and heal up. And so far, this this game has been amazing. This uh, this is probably in the 
the top four, let's say, King's Quest games for me. Like, nothing, nothing is going to be better than six. Um, I didn't really like the the first few that much. I like three. So it's probably like six is the best, three second best, five third best, and maybe this at four. All right. Three heals. Oh, also hidden for uh, for sacrifice. Uh, DG Voodoo Two. This is that's the same thing that I'm using for this. That's what's recommended for playing sacrifice as well. And if it runs this well, it'll probably run sacrifice just well too. All right. So let's continue exploring and then probably going to have to put on our thinking caps at some point here. We currently have our shoot everything caps on though. This might be a witch from Left 4 Dead. What is that? A weeping child? Tis beyond my reach. Uh-oh. Alright, this is... This is clearly a trap. Alright, hold on, weeping child. I have to get healing items. Okay. Oh yeah, window capturing, yeah. Uh, if you have multiple monitors, you could uh, just do a monitor capture maybe on uh, OBS. Young maid, are you all right? How came you here? I'm in prison, sir. I, I followed my brother to this horrible place, but now I don't know where he is. You followed your brother? But pray, how did you do such? I... I hid behind a gravestone daventry and watched as my brother went to the church. A moment later, he rushed out and ran into the mausoleum. He didn't see me, so I ran in behind him. I saw him slip through a magical door, and I followed. But now I fear he's dead. I shall seek your brother, young lady. But beforehand, it is important to safely return you to Daventry. Uh, all right, sir. But how? Those monsters imprison me here, and I cannot leave. Take calm, lass. I shall find a way to free you. I, sir. I trust you. <laughs> all right, little girl. First, you do this, and then there you go. Young maid, you must return safely to Daventry. I, sir. But how can I leave this... This prison. I I must ponder this problem. All right, young maid, just just do this. Oh, jeez. <coughs> okay, maybe maybe don't do that, young maid. I can see why. You didn't want to leave that room. <laughs> That's a satisfying sound that those zombies make. Human. 
There's another one behind that box there. All right. Give it up. <laughs> They're sassy skeletons. My favorite kind. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of personality in the animations to uh three to this game. key to creation and the infinite multitude of beings and numbers. Man, I hope I don't have to be writing all these down. There's a lot of different cryptic messages. Love it. All right, there's zombies around here somewhere. All right. They they really shouldn't have let you move backwards while shooting in this game. Cause that. That really breaks this. Be nice if the the draw distance wasn't like ten feet, and I could actually see what's. Okay, whatever it is, it's over there. Got him. Okay. So now is when we, we go back to that healing area. Alright. Uh, probably go by this way to see if there's anything anything cool over there. It's also kind of crazy that we want to send the little girl back to Daventry, where there's like even more monsters running around, and she's going to get turned into stone. It probably is safer here than back in Daventry. Just in case there's an ambush or something. Well, you never know. They might respawn. <laughs> that, that, that's kind of what worries me, is I'm, I'm still not sure if there's respawns. Uh, okay. Might as well fill in the map over here. Make sure that there's nothing else over on the edge. So we still have this area up there, and all this. So I'll come back to this when I go visit the boatman again. So let's let's go over this way. Yeah, not in King's Quest 8. <laughs> yep. Uh oh.
Okay, maybe those point to where the temple is. Oh yeah, I was looking through old issues of PC Gamer while I was bedridden last week. And uh, one of the issues had a review for this. And I, I think this got like a 72% or something from PC Gamer. And I think that was one of the... This I can probably use that. There must be a key somewhere. Aha. Oh. Get in there. Watch him, humorous. Rub off his skull. <laughs> Get in, boy. <laughs> I'll let two goes on Ostio. You're on. I'm for humorous. Back to Ostio. Suck it, human, humorous. Okay, I can't. I can't click on him. Alright, don't mind me. Oh, this is just... Watch it. All right. Give him a bonk. Hey, one shot. All right. Okay. I have a circular golden key. That's circular? Not enough polygons, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's not a weapon upgrade. Alright, our, our strategic rock did not, uh, Distract them. Okay, well, we got a thing. Mm. That's south of here. Okay, so here's... The oh, those are traps. Okay. That's what those are. Alright. Luckily... We can... Not backflip past it. Never mind. Okay. The, well, the the manual said that there was there was armor sets apparently, and I'm assuming that the the cover of the game armor is probably like the armor set that you get the the end game. If I had to hazard a guess. Give me your flesh. Luckily, those are the slowest moving arrows in video games. And you can just back away. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh oh. All right, so we've almost filled in the map here. All right, so nearly all the switches in the game have been for turning traps on and off. So I'm assuming this also disables a trap somewhere. And it probably turns off this one. <laughs> So that's that's the one I I noped away from not too long ago. Okay, so that fills in that. Okay. I turned off these. If not, I think I can backflip through it. Okay, apparently I did. Alright, and that brings me back to... So this is where I, I just jumped over the wall to get to the, the save point. Or the, the warp point. So we haven't been in here at all. Might as well heal up while I'm here. Okay, that controls that set of traps. Off to the right is the starting area for, uh, for this zone. Alright. Okay, so this should be a new, new area here. Got so that I can probably backflip up to. We got some sort of temple thing in the middle of this spiral, it looks like. I completely forgot about this mechanic. <laughs> it only shows up in the bottom corner of the screen. And then you can you can just tap on W to go up one frame at a time. Oh great. Come forward, mortal. I crave your soul. <laughs> All right, here's our armor upgrade, I guess. <laughs> All right, this epic fight. <laughs> All right, we'll give him the wind up. 5x hit.
incredible combat. All right, come on. I wonder if you're supposed to knock him off the... Uh... This epic battle against Chainmail Skeleton. My soul is not Got him. for the taking. Oh my god, what a amazing fight. <laughs> oh Jesus. My hand actually hurts after that. <laughs> hey aperture. Oh my god. Okay. Well that That was the first fight in the game that's been like that, by the way. All the other fights have been just straight up fights, but this one was a a combat puzzle. Oh boy. All right, let's let's see. Oh jeez. Excellent. Chainmail will prove useful indeed. All right. So we went from armor class 15 to 16. Oh baby. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that was exciting. I'm pretty sure that's optional, too. But, hey, we got it. And I used up, like, half of my healing resources. <laughs> so there's... I, I'm guessing what the strat probably is for that is to, like, hit hit the skeleton once and then run away from it to the, the edge of the thing and then uh, get it to position itself with its, uh, its back to the wall. I think I want to head back there for now. Yep, new model. Very exciting. Probably a way to, to drop those down. Oh, that's that's what those things are on the map. I thought those were like those were bridges, maybe. But no, those are impassable spikes. Yeah, this is so far much better than Shenmue Three. <laughs> Man, uh, Shenmue Three is such a disappointment. What a bummer. But, as I've maintained for years, I never really minded if they made a Shenmue 3 or not, because 2 is so good that they could have just made that a standalone game. And I would have been just fine with it. Okay, so... So we still have all that, so clear- so there's another tower like that, so this is probably another gear upgrade fight. Uh, so let's see what's up over there. Mm. 
I wonder if I can get into this area just by backflipping in there. Presumably, you have to get those spikes to go down. But I have a feeling you can you can backflip past your problems. <sighs> well, the well, also the thing with me about Shenmue Three is that I didn't have high expectations for it. Oh no. Did the game crash? <laughs> the game just... <laughs> That's what I get for talking shit about Shenmue 3. Okay, the game just... That's our first crash, by the way. Alright, let's reload that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yu Suzuki. Shenmue 3 was incredible. It was the greatest game I've ever played. Also, Roberta Williams is the best... The best writer. Okay, so that that lets me know that I need to be saving more often. <laughs> yep, Yu Suzuki hacked into my computer and shut down King's Quest. <laughs> so you see here, like this, the the copying files to hard drive. I have the both the game and the disk ISO are both on an NVMe, NVMe SSD that is good for three gigabits <laughs> or gigabytes per second. So there's no reason why this should be taking so long, other than hey, it's a it's a game from 1998. <sighs> okay. More skeleton battles? No. It's, if if you see right here, I saved two minutes ago. So no, no more skeleton battles. Uh, I should probably hit that that ghost with the the mace though. All right. So apparently when that ghost was trying to spawn, it uh, crashed the game. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. So we got that key from the, the skeleton brawl area. Stop, mortal. Desist. Come at me one at a time. Great strategy, skeletons. Alright, camera. Come on. Got him. Alright. Taste my might, human. Did that one just spawn out of the ground? Oh no. It's like extra powerful skeletons. This wall looks pretty low to me. 
This looks like a wall we can... We can potentially deal with. So we could we could either solve the puzzle here or the solution might be backflip over the wall. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if my thinking is correct. So if we do it like right here. Almost. Maybe if I left one of these boxes intact, we might have been able to make it. Actually, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> hold up. Yo. <laughs> Alright, fuck your puzzle. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> Dang it. They've... Okay. Alright, outsmarted. I had the 100 IQ play. They had the 200 IQ invisible wall. Okay. Alright, that lowers the spikes. I I didn't hit that one, did I? I uh uh So what did that do? There is something strange about this door. Lo, oh. this door has no <laughs> substance. You shan't gain the hammer, mortal. I can, Spectre, and I shall. Alright. I'm a I'm a hit that S key. And equip this. And uh oh, oh god! I, I'm sorry, skeleton. I didn't mean it. I'll stop. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh my god! And he ran. Alright, I, I thought the skeleton would be afraid of the, the spooky ghost door. That, uh, that did a lot of damage. Okay. So it didn't attack me until I, I aggroed it first, so let's see if there's anything. Lo, this door has no substance. You shan't gain the hammer, mortal. I can, Spectre, and I shall. Alright, is there any... Okay. Maybe you can run in and grab it. All right, we're going to try a stand-up fight with Skeleton, but I, I think I know how this is going to go. Okay. We could bait it out here. Actually, that sounded like it hit it, but it didn't... It didn't aggro. Oh, man, this camera. This camera is not amazing. Lo, this door has no substance. You shan't gain the hammer, mortal. I can, Spectre. And I shall. Hmm. 
Okay. I have a feeling it can probably still hit me even from here. Get fucked, skeleton. <laughs> All right, come back here. Skeleton, where'd you go? off like this way yeah. maybe I got it oh no Oh no. I wish I knew where it went when it went over there. Okay. Alright, Skeleton. Where'd you go? Got him. Oh, man. Okay, I probably just could have beaten out the, the maze, but... Got him. Okay. Alright. Zounds! Alack. Okay, so those turned into... I gotta get past those things somehow. Oh, man. That must be a sacred hammer. But how can I cope with those vile souls? Okay, these things give you the business. Oh, they get you down to, like, one health, but, uh... Okay. So whatever whatever it is we need to do here, we can't do it yet, apparently. Okay. So now back to back to Heel Town. Okay. Where am I? Does this seem like I can Sure. Alright. So we still have we still have that over there to do and then I think we can go here now now that we lowered the, the spikes and then that'll that'll probably be all the enemies cleared out here and then it's it's puzzle solving time and it looks like the puzzles are slightly more involved than yo hit it with the axe like in Daventry. <laughs> At least I'm hoping. Uh. Look at 
Looks like there's something here, too. That looks like another one of those things over there. That I somehow missed? Hmm. Interesting. Get up there. I suppose we can. No. Uh. Hmm. This might be part of the the little girl puzzle. Young maid, you must return safely to Daventry. I, sir. But how can I leave this this prison? I. I must ponder this problem. Sure. Okay. Wait, is it... Is this her prison? Oh. Sometimes the, the right mouse button gets stuck. In game, and I'm not sure why. Hopefully she doesn't mean this is the prison. <laughs> like, hey, you could just walk between these stones. It's, it's okay. Oh. I keep forgetting we have this rope and grapnel. Like, hey, how do we get up there? I don't know. It's a mystery. If only we had some sort of climbing tool. Uh. All right. Well. Okay. Well, that was exciting. What? 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 <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> um. I, uh... Hail, fair damsel! Hail, fair damsel! What? Whoa! that was not supposed to happen okay let's just reload the game <laughs> so that um the the swirling green texture was uh one of the portals to a different land um and and we are clearly clearly not there yet <clears throat> okay. King's Quest 8, huh? Sure. Alright, it locks up for a second while it's loading, loading in things. Okay, well. At least we know what's over there now. <laughs> Bad things are over there. Okay, so let's, uh... I want to see if those those spikes retracted. Oh boy, that was something.
I thought I retracted these. Must have uh, reloaded the save or something. Okay. Ah, those are already killed, so I, I've already been here, apparently. Oh no, I, I I shot those from the other side of the the wall. And then those beyond my reach. Tis beyond my reach. Alright, this is probably what that that other switch controls. Okay. Alright, so these were up the last time I came through here. Tis beyond my reach. Probably is beyond my reach. Backflip in there, though. <sighs> spooky ghosts can't. Spooky ghosts through those things, apparently. Those things can, though. Oh, jeez. soul goes round upon a wheel of stars, and all things return. So this... that might be open now? Hmm. Yeah, we need the. I assume this shield piece. This will not work. Yeah. This will not work. Yeah. Um. So there's still the one big unexplored area left, I believe. Yeah, there's still this. Okay, so if we head straight this way and go through there, that should take us in there. Where there's at least one point of interest in there. Okay. Oh no. That no. <laughs> that magical spell is not going to be useful. Okay. Such a good strat. Man, 
not a whole lot of item drops from skeletons. Besides that. Not sure what that was, but sure we got one. Looks like this is sloping downwards. Yeah, there's definitely something above us. Okay. Oh, this is, uh... We've already been here, haven't we? This must be that area that I got to and then, uh... I thought I, I should stay up on the upper level. So we've we've already been here, I think. Hmm. Oh god. Okay, camera. Alright. Oh, this is this is probably a pressure plate. No, oh jeez. These are probably pressure plates, if I had to guess. Let's do that. So the manual mentioned that you want rocks to put on pressure plates. Yeah, there it is. All right. Small boulders in various places. Useful for solving puzzles, pressure plates that depressed ones stepped upon. Rocks can be used to weigh down the plates. Okay. So if I step on this... Yep, okay. Definitely pressure plates. <laughs> okay. Wait, the, the zombie corpse? Pushes down on the pressure plate. <laughs> okay. Well, that works too, I guess. Saved us a rock. Alright. Backflip away from our troubles. That's, that's actually really neat that they... The physics system in this accounts for, uh, for monsters, too. This is practically Breath of the Wild. Good job, Roberta. And it works out nicely, because I only had three rocks. <laughs> so maybe that is an intended solution. Just hopefully the the zombie corpse doesn't despawn. Yeah. Also a little alarming that nothing happened. Uh 
Maybe those are pressure points too? Hmm. Alright, this is a grapple point, so let's see what's up there, I guess. Hopefully not another skeleton. Four thresholds to the halls of life. Dost thou seek war? Rest well, that, that doesn't really help. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the, the three rocks. And I'm guessing I probably have to use the... Use them by the temple. Either that or I, I used them in the wrong order, maybe? Okay, I think climbing up there is probably the faster way to get out of this area. Alright, so we still haven't gone to that part there. And besides that, we've been nearly everywhere else. We haven't been here yet, and it looks like there's something there. Okay. So we'll head for there next, and it looks like the... I think just running out this way is probably going to be the best way to go. <laughs> Wish there was a way to zoom out the minimap, but at least it's there. Still better than Shenmue 3's minimap. Alright, so over here is all new. Nope, 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 nope. Can I save? I don't want to lose five minutes of progress on some bullshit death. Okay. <clears throat> I think it takes so long to save in this game because it has to save the screenshot, too. It's probably saving, like, a bitmap file. It's way bigger than it needs to be. Okay, there's another rock, so now we got... We got four rocks, at least. Maybe that was the whole point of this area. Alright, we got another... another human. Alas! What happened, lad? You need aid! No! Uh, I'm at death's door! I found an entrance from... Daventry! My... <coughs> small sister followed me here. I pray she's still alive. I was searching for the hammer of Azrael. Without it, you can ne'er cross the river of death. You must find it. Oh. <coughs> Wait, can you repeat that? Poor foolhardy lad. Ne'er a chance had he. All right, well... Poor foolhardy lad. We already found the hammer. Where a chance had he? It's just protected by spooky ghosts. Oh, that was it. <laughs> That's the only thing here. Okay. Uh. So over here is Skeleton Fight Club. So we already did that. Okay. I wonder if we can. Alright, we can't backflip up on the bear. Okay, we can flip over that, though. Uh... 
Okay, so we still need a way to get past the the extra spooky ghosts over by where the hammer was. Actually, I haven't been over here. Let's fill this in on the map while we're here. I guess I can talk to the little girl again. But the last time I was here, the game kind of freaked out. So hopefully there won't be <laughs> won't be issues this time. Uh, I'll pass. Yeah, we have to we have to fight three different skeletons and impress the the skeleton fight club organizer. Then we'll get access to the Yellowhead building. Young maid, you must return safely to Daventry. I, sir. But how can I leave this... this prison? I... I must ponder this problem. Sure. I'm not... I'm not trying to do the glitch. Like, I'm not involved in speedrunning in any capacity anymore. I don't really care about sequence breaks or any of that. I'm here to just play video games. So I'll pass. Uh, interesting. So the the map says that there's. I wonder if that just means that, because it's it's clearly right here. <laughs> huh? Wait, this is. Hold up. Wait. The what? 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 There's. Hold up. Hold up. is Hall of Justice. Is that? Uh, did I even write it down here? Unicorn Horn. Hall of Respite is where we want to be, apparently. Okay, let's, let's see where this goes. truth to bring all the forces into perfect balance. All right, we got a free This potion will render me invisible to those lesser evil beings who would attack me. Lo, I have found the scales of justice. Okay, so though this is in the hall of But so the problem here is that I'm not sure how I activated this teleporter. <laughs> it was probably so No, tis not right. This will not work. Alright, well I have no time to trifle with that. I have no time to trifle with that. Alright. Apparently rocks. I have no time to trifle with that. This will not work. This will not work. Permanent spell of might. This will not work. Permanent spell of m Okay. Whatever it is, we don't have it. Sure. Yep, the Hall of Justice. <sighs> Interesting. I am... I'm not sure how this activated, but... Uh... Maybe... Maybe it's because I walked over the point on the map that that was where the pressure plate was supposed to be. So maybe if I walk right onto here, that will activate. What if we backflip onto this thing? Well, it's 
clearly not that. Hmm. Okay, well, we haven't been here yet. And then... We'll have to solve this mystery of... How these portals even... Like, there's, there's got to be something to do with the, these marks on the map. Okay. We we'll probably talk to the boatman again, too. He can probably tell us about the, the extra spooky ghosts. Seven holds the key to the rhythms of life, the number of completeness. Okay, so the boatman previously said one complete stands out. Oh man. Just... Seven holds the key to the rhythms of life, the number of completeness. God, okay. It sounds like I gotta be paying attention to all these... These little... Riddle shrines. Uh. Okay. There's something over there, apparently. All right. This is this is one of those things that I can backflip up onto. So we'll just do that. <laughs> Oh good, another one of these. I can't wait to spend 10 minutes clicking on a skeleton again. Or not? I don't, uh... I don't see... a grapple icon. I'm not near anything to climb. There we go. All right. Not a whole lot of room to fight up there if I have to fight something. Okay. Well, there's a bunch of healing stuff over there. see anything too dangerous. I'm sure this will be fine. Yeah, we gotta find the the log that's sticking out the the side of it to synchronize our uh... This potion will reveal for me objects of deception, illusion, or invisibility. Hmm. And we only get one. <laughs> Great. It's probably not permanent either. <sighs> okay. Maybe like one of the the walls on this thing on the second floor is illusionary. Kind of like that uh, illusionary door from earlier. 
perhaps. This might be one of those occasions where you save the game, use the item, and then load it. Because <laughs> clearly they let you do that in most cases, so... So why not? Let's see if there's anything illusionary here. They probably give you that potion just for that um, that door where the hammer is, though, because it seems I'm doing things slightly out of order. This potion will reveal for me objects of deception, illusion, or invisibility. Okay. Whatever it is, I hope it's not at the top of the tower. <laughs> It's not here, apparently. And that potion lasts, like... 10 seconds. <laughs> Fuck. And that's it. That's... That's how long that spell lasts. Wow. Okay, well that's, uh... That seems useful. <laughs> hmm. So I, I believe that's pretty much everything we haven't explored yet. Wait, now there's... Now there's three portals activated. So ev everyone but the one on the bottom left now. Walking on those do anything? No. Alright, I'm gonna head back to that that area. We're gonna keep the map open to see if it changes. Interesting. Okay, well this is this is the one Hall of Respite. Hall of Respite is where Boatman said to go. Uh wait, that This isn't a portal though. <laughs> This isn't a portal either. <laughs> I... This one is. Hall of Justice. Yeah. And then. Huh? And yeah. The... <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. Let's uh let's 
Make a different save. <sighs> okay. Fascinating. All right, so that's that's where the hammer was. So we need that in order to cross the river. Um, I'm pretty sure there's probably no more combat left because we've we've killed pretty much everything that can be killed, as far as I know, on the map. So now we're in puzzle solving mode. All right, so we'll check in with with Boatman again. All right. Pardon, Sir Boatman. Where did you say the feather of truth could be found? Seekest thou the hall of respite? Aye, I remember. Judge the skulls on the left. Down creation, the one complete stands out. Down creation plus completion equals all things. Thank you, good boatman. Okay. And the Hall of Respite is this one. And the map says the portal's active, but it clearly isn't. Alright, I'm, I'm curious if this is... This is bugged or something. So I'm going to save here. I'm going to reload the game and see if the map maybe resets itself. Because it should be only the one on the bottom right active. This, is, this might be just another weird bug. Let's see. <sighs> and... Interesting. Maybe we have to warp out? Or maybe this, this is working as it's supposed to. <laughs> Uh, fascinating. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go here and check and see if those maybe the ghost decided to disappear, or I need to use like the the see-through illusion potion next to the spooky ghost or something. That, that can't be... So anything consumable on here is most likely not a puzzle solution because those are those are consumables and you can't, like, get them back. So there's also this. Like, this might be how we, uh... how we do the portals. Because these are for moving the spikes up and down. Um... So uh, this is either for the portals... Or it's for those, uh, the prison area, which I think this one will maybe open the... So one of these had a, um, had a, a treasure chest in them. So it wasn't that, it was further in. That one, right there. So these are all still up, even though I was pulling switches. Alright, so clearly, I don't know what that... The soul goes round upon a wheel of stars, and all things return. The I... soul goes round upon a wheel of stars, and all things return. 
Hmm. Let's see. <laughs> hey, guy in YouTube chat, I'm not looking for insert advice here. <laughs> so, please stop. Thanks. Uh. Okay, so this is where we got our armor upgrade. I'm assuming there's nothing else over here. So maybe maybe to get the little girl out of there, maybe we have to go all the way back to here, and then there's a... Uh, we can give her the all clear, like there's no, no more spooky ghosts in the way or something. Camera? Hello? Okay, well these spooky ghosts are still here, and it locked up for a second because it's loading... Something. Okay. Um, so let's see. So perhaps an uh, invisibility spell or the reveal, reveal tricks spell. This potion will render me invisible to those lesser evil beings who would attack me. This potion will reveal for me objects of deception, illusion, or invisibility. Okay, so if we use this... Okay, that does... Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Sure. Um... Let's see. And if we... Oh, man. Alright, can we... So those, those hurt you, but you can... You can just go up and grab it? What? I... What? Uh, it didn't let me do that before. <laughs> uh, maybe it's because I was under the effects of the... Of that? That it let me grab it? What in the hell? And this is a range... Wait, this is a ranged weapon? Oh! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. We Thor now, boys. Okay. And if can we do a strong attack with it? Okay, no. All right. Sure. Well, that that sure was something. Okay, let's go get our health back. Sure. Yep, suddenly Thor. And unfortunately, this thing has a much lower fire rate than uh, than the crossbow. So the unfortunate side effect of this is that it's going to be harder to, uh, to cheese things now. <laughs> but I don't think there's any way around that because we need this thing to, to cross the river. So an NPC earlier mentioned that we need that in order to get the boatman to... Wait, what? Oh, sure. Alright, well that doesn't... that doesn't do any of that. Okay. So clearly that doesn't break those boxes. Uh... Alright, let's see if there's any new dialogue with, with this guy. Pardon, Sir Berkman. Where did you say the feather of truth could be found? Seekest thou the hall of respite? Aye, I remember. Judge the skulls on the left. Down creation, the one complete stands out. Down creation plus completion equals all things. Okay. Thank you, good boatman. Actually, does this guy have... 
Pardon, sir, but dialogue if we... Fare thee well, mortal. Thou hast returned, mortal. Fare thee well, mortal. Alright. Peace. Okay, so... So yeah, I... I'm guessing the, the zombie corpse is still on this one. And that's why this one is still active, but that... That still doesn't explain why the map is bugged out. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, Alright, so it looks like we just need to go there and drop a rock on each of those pressure plates. Or the other three. Uh, okay. That, that still doesn't explain these other four uh, marks on the map, but sure. Okay. And then we'll probably be done with uh, the underworld once we solve all of that. So it looks like Daventry took us about three hours, and, and this part looks like also three hours. So since there's five other worlds in the game. Uh, math is hard. 15 hours? We got 15 hours left, I guess. Can I just... Can I just skip all this? Nope. Actually, I probably die because that slopes downwards. So it's, it's actually better I didn't uh, make that jump. Also, now that, now that I've thought about it, this game and this area in particular reminds me of a PS2 game. Uh, it was a launch-ish game, or maybe it was a launch game for for PS2. It was called Summoner, and it's actually on the on the backlog. And something about the graphical style of this game reminds me of Summoner a lot. And I think Summoner was a uh, a 2000 game, I want to say. Alright, so we could hear when the zombie body spawned in because it triggered the pressure plate. <laughs> Maybe that's why the map is bugged out, because the zombie body kept despawning. So we'll just... We'll just make sure that that stays down. Yeah, Summoner is an interesting game. It's got, uh... It's got kind of weird mechanics. Like, it's a traditional party-based RPG. A Western RPG. But it's also got, like, timing-based attacks to it. And it runs at, like, 10 FPS. <laughs> and I also remember it, um... Uh, that Game Shark codes did not really work for it back when it came out. So that's why I probably never beat the game, because I was never able to cheat my way through it. It actually required some skill to beat the game, which is why I was never able to beat it. <laughs> yeah, the box art the box art is a little a little bad. They they had slightly better box art for Summoner 2, but I never played Summoner 2. Never got around to that one. All right, so now all four are allegedly active on the map now. We already know we can't trust this map in this game. So those those portals may or may not be active. <laughs> yeah, first Witcher. Oh, speaking of Witcher, the um uh the Witcher series on Netflix came out earlier this week and I've been watching watching that before I go to bed and man it's really good I uh, I never played the games I've seen a little bit of them but I've never played them attain truth and I really like the the Netflix series for it's it beyond my reach 
Okay, well, it's the, the upper left one is the respite. So we'll go there first. Hall of respite. Okay. Alright. Sure. Yeah, I never I never read the books either, so. <laughs> this is this has been my only significant exposure to the Witcher the Witcherverse. And so far really good. And apparently they already ordered a second season of it, so there's going to be more of it. Oh, it just takes us here. Okay. Oh good, this looks like jumping puzzle area. Oh god. Oh my god, are you serious? There's a limited range on the... Okay, you have to- you have to keep hold- oh god. You have to keep holding down on the left mouse button in order for it to keep going. If you just tap it... Wait, now it went... Oh, this thing. <laughs> I, I want my crossbow back. Give me my crossbow back, game. Receive the eternal respite. A moment of pain for eternal life ever after. Oh, man. Okay, so just... Alright, I'm pretty sure you just have to have to jump. But, let's see. Eternal Ring on PS2? Yep, that's, um... That's in the, uh, the King's Field universe, I think. That's a, uh, FromSoft game. Is beyond my reach. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. We we inadvertently solved the. Okay. All right, that's using our head. Oh boy. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> I uh Um so there's there's a shield potion thing here. Maybe maybe the game wants us to oh. <laughs> I uh well I almost made it. Uh <laughs> Oh jeez. Hmm. Perceive the eternal respite, a moment of pain for eternal life ever after. Can I... can I push this? Mm. No. Mm. Okay. Is this... okay, so this is on the map. Let's, let's go see what's in the other portals first, before we... Oh, jeez. Okay, sure. There's 
a whole bunch of somethings over there. Okay. Yeah, we got to find that out of bounds now. <laughs> sure. Uh... Okay. Let's see what's in behind door number two, shall we? But first, heal up. Hall of War. Alright, Hall of War. Surely no combat here. Why does it... Why does it sometimes... Not travel... War causeth great destruction and disturbance of equilibrium. Okay. I really don't like this hammer. Okay. Got ourselves a jumping puzzle. Great. More difficult than the combat. So there's there's a running forward jump, which jumps forward 30 feet, apparently. There's a standing jump, which goes, like, 5 feet forward. And then the backflip is, like, 20 feet. It's weird. That's why I saved. Okay, this one's a backflip, apparently. <laughs> Because a uh, forward jump is probably going to be straight into that second pit. I guess we could try. Okay. Alright. That works. How now? A headless statue. How now? Okay, so we need... This will not work. Surely. This will not work. Hermit. Okay. And then... Oh, that's just a... Okay. Alright, so this one... We need to find a key item of a statue head or something. Oh boy, these jumping puzzles. Alright, so we've been to Respite, War... So we haven't been to the one on the south... southwest yet? Bullshit awaits us here. Really would have been nice if there was a quick save function in this game, but nothing in the README or the manual says anything about a quick save. So this is what Hall of Immortality. Okay. Okay. Heal me and save me from all vile, frightful, and red things. Uh. This must be the sacred heart of which the boatman spoke.
or if we backflip onto it. Uh. So the, the the boatman did say something about the Sacred Heart, but then he started talking about, I can't backflip. Why not? Okay, we cannot... We can't backflip past our problems here. <sighs> hmm. Is there a false wall here, maybe? There is one, it'd probably be towards the middle. Heal me and save me. Hmm. Zounds, tis indeed a heart. Zounds. This must be the sacred heart of which the boatman spoke. So why did it only beat? There we go. Okay. Zounds, tis indeed a heart. Zounds. Okay. This must be the sacred heart of which the boatman spoke. Judge skulls on the left. Down creation. Okay, that's all the rest of it. Uh, I think we're talking to the boatman again. <laughs> yeah, there's just a. Uh, just a big ass heart on the floor over there. All right, let's check in with little girl. Maybe, maybe she can tell us what we can do with, with our heart. Just as long as the game doesn't blow up. Actually, maybe, maybe little girl can't leave because this thing's in the way. Clearly, I am no help. So there must be some mechanism to to move this thing. And maybe that's what that's what this is for. Permanent spell of might. Need. It's So little girl is probably like a an end game quest. Kind of like the the unicorn horn in Daventry, I'm guessing. Like we we probably can't solve her problem until much later in the game. So I think, I think it's probably not worth trying to figure out what her deal is. So we already solved that. So this, this one's got a, a fire at the top of it. I don't know if there's any significance to that. Cause all we got there was the, the reveal hidden things potion. Okay, well, maybe now that we've been to the, the Hall of Respite, maybe Boatman has some new... new info for us? Hmm. Because... It's... I think it's unlikely that the solution to that is, hey, it's just a really precise jump. That might just be what what it is, though. Like it's a, hey, get good at platforming thing. But I have a feeling that's not the solution. Hmm. All right. Let's see if there's anything new with this guy. Thou hast returned, mortal. Thou must heed my counsel. Pardon, Sir Burton. Mm. Where did you say the feather of truth could be found? Seekest thou the hall of respite? Aye, I remember. 
Judge the skulls on the left. Down creation, the one complete stands out. Down creation plus completion equals all things. Thank you, good boatman. Okay, so that was the previous conversation that we interrupted. Pardon, sir boatman. Okay, Where so did you the think the feather of truth could be found? Seekest thou the hall of respite? Huh. I, I remember. Judge the skulls on the left. Down creation, the one complete stands out. Down creation plus completion equals all things. Thank you, good boatman. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe the there's pressure plates underneath these, and when we get the the permanent spell of might, we can move those, and it reveals more pressure plates. Okay. Perceive the eternal respite. A moment of pain for eternal life ever after. Maybe, maybe you, okay, here's, here's a thought. Maybe you're not supposed to have the hammer right now, and you need the crossbow with the range to hit that pillar to knock it over, and we're just, we're just not able to, to knock over that pillar, because we have the limited range hammer. Okay, we're, we're about as far over as we can get now. got to be that because <laughs> we clearly knocked over that pillar there like it even it even looks like it's broken but we just can't reach it <sighs> hmm i I possess Azriel's throwing hammer. It might be the crossbow. And the crossbow should be where we got the hammer still. Uh, yeah, I jumped into it, but I, I don't think that's how you're supposed to trigger that. Because <laughs> clearly that, that's not how that was supposed to happen, because we, we died. And we can't complete the jump. So it just happened to, to luck into that last time. Otherwise, I probably would have never noticed that that pillar was different. <laughs> um. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna get our crossbow back from Spooky Ghost if I can get past this thing. Uh. There's also the matter of of these switches on the walls here. These four? I'm still not sure what, what these are for, but... No, 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 what I... The, the thing that killed me was the, um... Was falling in the very edge of the, the black water. Hey, the ghosts are gone. Okay, so that's progress. The crossbow's gone. <laughs> I, uh... Well, that's a problem. The crossbow is gone.
Okay, I wonder. So we don't have the hammer in this one. Okay, I'm gonna load an earlier save, and now that we know how the, the Hall of Respite is enterable, I'm gonna load up the Hall of Respite with the crossbow and see if that's what it was. Okay, gotta get back down there again. Because if that is what was going on there, then <laughs> then that means we have to we have to do a section over again, essentially. Because I don't know, I suspect we might be soft locked, and it wouldn't be a King's Quest game unless there were soft locks. So that's to be expected, I guess. But we'll see. We shall see soon enough. Um, okay, so we gotta go down that way. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. This way. Alright, down into there. of those, but I'm not sure if those things have any significance. Alright. The zombie's already holding us down. But we'll be fine. Okay, so we can... Pretty sure we can climb this as a shortcut. Back to there. So it was the upper right one. Or upper left one. I think. It is beyond my reach. Hall of Respite. Okay. Let's see if my theory is correct.
Okay, let's see. So if this if this doesn't do as I think it will, then we'll load the sure one save. Interesting. Okay. So that that rules out that then. Maybe it is just a really precise jump. Maybe that's all it is. Hmm. I suppose another another possibility is there's this guy in here who tasked us with with visiting the boatman. Like maybe maybe that guy's got new information. There, there might be something here, maybe that I, that I missed. Because this is where the the zombies were. I already checked this guy. There's nothing new with him. Maybe there's there's like an illusionary bridge or something here that that you need the the reveal hidden things thing to reveal like hey there's there's something you can walk on right there or something uh and we got that from the the hall of there was another hall there's the hall of whatever was in the southwest portal so they give you another yeah it's this one so they give you another potion of those and maybe that's what it is you have to use the potion of potion of sea magical things in the the hall of respite there's also <laughs> there's also this thing still this must be the sacred heart of which the boatman spoke. 
heal me and save me from all vile, frightful, and red things. Okay. I'm just thinking that that doesn't give you the... the ding that you get from most of the rest of them. Uh, Whoever just and pure lights the torches of righteousness will meet the sylph of inner beauty. Interesting. So maybe the spell of reveal secret will reveal something. I don't know. Okay. Well, nothing doing there, I guess. Okay, great. Let's, let's get our spell back. Okay. Well, I guess we're trying to jump again, I suppose. Because I think I've exhausted all other all of their options for that. Oh my god. Alright, this is... Maybe I gotta aim for the skeletons? You probably don't need as much of a run-up as I'm getting, and I can probably just go straight towards the shore and probably just barely make it. Perfect. Nailed it. <sighs> Jumping puzzles. This is like the, the Tomb Raider playthroughs all over again. All right. How about we save up here? So we don't have to keep doing the setup over and over again. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you could just barely make it. Okay. Sure. All right. So now, according to the boatman, uh, judge the skulls on the left, down creation, one complete stands out, and, uh, seven? Has something to do with that? Boatman 
Clint said, one complete stands out. Could this be the right one? Oh my god. Perhaps this one. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. This... I... Oh, God. Judge the skulls on the left. Down creation. One complete stands out. And then there's also something about, like... This peaceful statue. I almost feel a sense of respite. Sure. All these look the same to me. <laughs> Maybe this one. Can we just... Or this one. Oh my god. I, uh... This must be the river of... So there's something about seven. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten skulls, and we can only take one. One complete stands out. He didn't say anything that time. Okay, he just kind of stops saying things. <laughs> uh... I'm not sure what the purpose of this even is. You have to put these like this will not work. This will not work. This will not work. This will not work. Huh. So all those just just look the same to me. Uh so we saved when we were over here, right? Yeah, okay. All right, so what if I use this potion? This potion will reveal from the objects of deception, delusion, or invisibility. Okay. All right, nothing new there. Nothing new here either. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. <laughs> I I don't think I've chosen wisely hidden. I uh I, Huh. Maybe the maybe now that we've gotten to those Maybe we just take a skull. Okay, oh all right. So So this is this is all to get the the feather of of something or other. All right. So we'll just we'll just Boatman said one complete stands out. Could this be the right one? One complete? Is it Is there like one of these that that has more than the others? They they all look the same to me. Okay. 
we'll just we'll take a skull with us. And then backflip right into the... <sighs> so I... <sighs> I'm not sure you, we can brute force us either. Like... My thinking also is maybe there'll be a ding. Boatman said one complete stands out. Could this be the right one? Perhaps this one. Maybe this one. Hmm. Or this one. Is there going to be a ding when we get the the right one? <laughs> I have a feeling no. And so far the icons have been the same every time. Perceive the eternal respite, a moment of pain for eternal life ever after. Hmm. Whoever just and pure lights the torches of. Okay, we heard, we've heard that before. Hey, Ed. Yeah, this is... This is literal Tomb Raider right now. Uh... The first three hours of the game is pretty good. Well, we were... We were punching things twice until they exploded. Like, it's Fist of the North Star. And now, we're into a part of the game where there's actual puzzles. <laughs> and thing, things have gotten pretty rough here. Uh... The game has also crashed, and uh, there was also a, a sequence break, I think, that I I stumbled into. So I, I probably could have skipped this entire portion of the game. <laughs> like, if I get really fed up with these puzzles, I can, I can go back to where I found that sequence break earlier. <laughs> Alright, let's see if Boatman has anything new for us. Thou hast returned, mortal. Thou must heed my counsel. Pardon, Sir Boatman. Where did you say the feather of truth could be found? Seekest thou the hall of respite? Aye, I remember. Judge the skulls on the left. Down creation, the one complete stands out. Down creation plus completion equals all things. Thank you, good Boatman. So that... There must be on one of those tablets somewhere. So so what I've gathered here is that one complete stands out. So I, one a complete is seven. So we'll we'll be able to find out how much all things are if if we can find out how much a creation is. So maybe there's a there's a tablet somewhere that that says how much a creation is. I hmm. oh, 
th this also bothers me over here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over there and fill that in, just to just to be sure that there isn't something I missed. Maybe that's that's where the tablet is. It says, "Hey, there, get the skull on the right, fifth from the right." The shedding of blood leads to the pallor of death. The blood of mortality poisons the land. Okay. Sure. It also appears that I've I've killed everything that can be killed in uh, in this part of the game. So now it's nothing but puzzles <laughs> until we're we're out of this area, I guess. Puzzles and running around aimlessly. Actually, it sounds like there's there's something over there, but we don't have the key to get over there yet. He's locked. This is locked. Can we backflip through it? Of course not. Okay. What's that moldy smell? Okay, we, we got that same... Same prompt. The boatman said, The land bleeds. I see now what he meant. Yeah, so we got that same prompt on the other side of this wall. The boatman said, The land bleeds. Oh, jeez. I see now what he meant. Maybe that... Beyond my reach. Maybe I have to... Go into the blood here and get get that item that's there. But I'm pretty sure walking in blood damages you. The boatman said, "The land bleeds." I see now what he meant. Okay. That's just... That's nice and all, but that's not helpful. Okay. Uh... Phew. What's that moldy smell? I also still want to go back to... down here and consult with Lord of the Dead. If I still can, I'm, I'm not even sure I can, but we'll see, I guess. Because maybe he's got some sort of critical thing for us. I should be reading these as I pass by him. The soul goes round upon a wheel of stars and all things return. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> nice. I could have just walked around it. Alright. Alright, we haven't been over here very long time. Okay. Anything new over here? The door will not open. Yeah, the lever of life spins around the... Uh, that's not going to help us. The door will not open. It won't budge. Well, I suppose it has fulfilled its appointed task. Okay, so this this is not going to be useful. Okay. These we can get some items from these. 
There's a lot of backseaters in YouTube chat today. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, boy, do I not miss that from streaming. Uh, let's see. Skeleton Fight Club, I'm assuming that's still empty, because we got our... What did we even get from that? Oh, we got a key. We got a key from one of the, the guards there. Alright. I assume... Got this symbol here. Sure. Alright. Skeleton Fight Club. Still empty. I think there was... There was... So this, this symbol is the... The kind the the hint things that they give you. And according to the map, there's one on top of here. But I don't recall reading one up there. Hmm. And the one up here, I don't recall had anything important on it. So the, the beating heart... The beating heart was in there. And so we're looking for the. All right, we're getting into some some Lama Lana shit here, and I guess King's Quest fairy fairy tale stuff. So the balancing the scales, you need the feather. Your soul's got to be lighter than a feather. And there's also something about a heart. I think from from that, your heart has to be lighter than a feather. And there's that big-ass heart, just in one of the halls. And maybe... I just back up up here, not after. There we go. Hmm. So this is where we got the the reveal hidden objects potion. And according to the map, there is one of those uh tablet things up here. Maybe it just means that.
Yeah, there's no... There's no grapple up icon up here. Okay. And I assume I can't... Like, jump up there. And I don't... I don't see one up there. <sighs> hmm. I don't see one down there either. There's the Hall of War. Ah. Hall of Respect. Okay, maybe if I go back to the... The Hall of... Hall of Justice? With the... With the skull now? Maybe just going into any of the other... Other halls with the skull will will do something, maybe. Hmm. That one... Huh. I'm still... I still don't know about those... Those switches here. Like... I have a feeling there's... There's like a key item... <laughs> like maybe you just need to... Figure out which one of those brings down all of them. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I've tried that one. Yeah, these are all still up. Hmm. Interesting. The lower, lower right one was the scales. <laughs> so maybe using this random skull on it will. Her weapon will not help me here. This will not work. This will not work. This will not work. Okay. Attain truth to bring all the forces into perfect balance. Lo, I have found the scales of justice. Lo. No, tis not right. No, tis not right. Hmm. We can't just... This will not work. This will not work. Okay. Hmm. God, 
God, it's already two. I'm going three and a half hours. Okay. All right, I'm going to step away for a couple minutes, and then uh, we will resume being completely lost. <laughs> Great. All right. All right. All right, let's continue. Okay. Mm. So it's weird that there wasn't a a hint thing up there. I know that there's one up there. And we still don't have a key to this this north center part of the map. Hmm. I think there is there's two like up there too. I think. Alright. Fucking headset mic. It's on my to-do list to get a different headset mic, because this one... This one is not made for people with glasses. Shit. Okay. So you get up there, there's a platform over here, I think. <laughs> so just jump over it. 
Okay. I thought there were more over here. And I guess not. Okay. Four thresholds to the halls of life. Dost thou seek war, respite, immortality, justice? All right. Maybe the the order that sin is important. Four thresholds to the halls of life. Dost thou seek war, respite, immortality, justice? Besides the pressure plates. I could also I could look on there again, but the game's probably gonna glitch out again if I do that. Uh, which is unfortunate because <laughs> it's like there there might be plot progression up there, but the I don't I don't even know what's a glitch anymore in this game. Alright, so if we go on these in the order that that tablet said. Uh so war was this one. Whoever just and pure okay, we've already took that. So we already did this one. The on the other side of the bridge was just a there was a fuck's sake. Uh <laughs> Luckily this doesn't matter because we we're not losing any progress here. So the so that statue is missing a head, and we have a head now. So maybe just putting any old skull on that uh, on that statue will do something. Yeah, it's bound to happen, but no big deal because what's that moldy smell? It's, it's not like we're we're missing progress or anything because no progress was made <laughs> since the last save. Oh god. Okay. But that's that's probably what we need to be doing. Like maybe you could just take any any old skull and it will just work for for the war statue. The real puzzle is getting across the bridge without dying. Okay. But I'm sure the, the game is going to be very picky about which, which skull we put on the war statue. this works. Oh, boy. I just want to go back to to punching pigs into into two pieces like the beginning of the game. 
this, this part where you actually have to solve puzzles, not so great. Okay. Alright. How now? A headless statue. How now, headless statue? Does not rhyme. This one doesn't fit right. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Oh my god. Just just fucking kill me now. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Yep. Fuck. Okay. <sighs> yeah, if you think if you think this is great, just wait until La Milana. Uh, okay, this one. You chose. Four. Hall of Respite. Oh boy. Okay. Wait, does the. The pillar resets when you leave? Are are you serious, game? Yeah. Wait, oh. Ah. No, it doesn't. It just didn't. King's Quest, Mask of Eternity, huh? Oh boy. They're both equally bad. Oh man. So I'm, I'm trying to think of... Uh, sure, let's just... If any of the other halls have given us hints as to what the skull might be. Yeah, I bet, I bet playing this game as a 10-year-old is probably even worse. I'm actually a little glad I was never able to get this to run when it came out, because I probably... I probably would have done that a whole bunch. All we've really gotten from the boatman is judge the skulls on the left, down creation, and then one complete stands out. And we, we know that a complete is has something to do with seven. Because of reasons. This peaceful statue. I almost feel a sense of respite. Alright, we'll save here just in case we need to reload and get more skulls. Uh. So judge the skulls on the left. So that. That eliminates all of these, I'm guessing. It eliminates all of those. So it's it's gotta be one of these. Down creation. I 
I'm not sure what it means by down creation. Maybe that means the bottom row? And then one complete stands out, and a complete is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perhaps it's that one. Perhaps. So this is eight, nine, and ten. I bring with me a skull. It's a skull. Okay. All right. Well, we got we got a skull. So we'll. We'll save that one, and we'll reload the respite one if we, if we chose poorly. <sighs> I can't even remember which, uh, which tablet told us about seven. Either. It was just some random ass tablet somewhere. Oh no. Okay. Good. Perfect. Just as I intended. <laughs> okay. Alright. And now we get to fall through the cracks in that bridge over here. Who's ready for that? Was it this? Did War causeth great destruction. No. And then there's the whole beating heart thing, which I'm... I'm not sure about that either. Like, maybe after... Maybe... Uh, <laughs> this game. Oh, oh, why does... Okay. There's apparently a wall right there. Yeah. Why is that gap exactly as long as a long jump is? Like, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <sighs> a cheat code that turns Connor naked? Oh, God. Uh, well, you know how YouTube is, so we'll uh, we'll refrain from that, I guess, for now. We'll do a, a special, special Puri Puri live only stream for for Naked Connor. Maybe that's like the the Laura Croft nude patch from back in the day. The, that amazing, amazing texture mod. Here's eight triangles of boobies. And that's all we needed back in the late 90s. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. Yes! Got it. Okay. It worked. Hark, I have found the feather of truth. All right. Whew. We did it, boys. Now time to go get stuck somewhere else. <laughs> Wait, what is this? This iron anvil bespeaks great strength. This iron anvil bespeaks great strength. This will not work. Oh, okay. Sure, there's an anvil over there. Okay, well, we, we figured that shit out. Oh, boy. All right, now it's time to, time to not die here. Oh, man. That was awful. Hopefully that's the worst it gets. <laughs> oh, my God. And I guess, I guess now we know that if there's some sort of in-game tablet or something that looks important, I need to write it down, because the game is not going to hold your hand. 
like some of the other uh, other King's Quest games. All right, so now that we got the feather, uh, probably the Judgment one, which is bottom right. This will not work. It balanced. Hark. Is that a heartbeat? Hark. Uh. Um. Hail, Deliverer. Thou hast freed me and healed the Sacred Heart. The bloodletting hath ceased. Truly, thou art the champion eternal. The scales have proven thus. In the name of victory, Sir Champion, I wish you good speed. Okay. But can we take that back? Yeah, step on that feather. Okay. Apparently we don't need that anymore. Okay, so does Does this mean all the weird blood in the in some of the areas isn't there anymore, maybe? Is what all that means? Like if I if I go into this portal here, is this still guts? Yeah, this is still guts monster. This must be the sacred heart of which the boatman spoke. Heal me and save me from all. Oh shit. Well, uh, I, I just used one of these by accident. Oh, well. All right, good. Just just making sure that heart still... Still working. Okay. So... Oh, this is... Uh, this isn't red anymore. Um, and there was also blood here. Uh, and I don't believe there's blood anywhere else. Maybe actually over here and on the other side too. But I think first things first, we got to check in with, with the boatman. What the- what's unnerving about a giant beating heart? Perfectly normal. So we did all that, and we got the hammer, and apparently that's all we need. Sir Boatman, you aforementioned the Bridge of Life. Whither shall I seek it? The Bridge of Life spans the River of Death. Follow the river to the east. Thank you, sir. I shall. Sir Boatman, you aforementioned the Bridge of Life. Fare well, mortal. Sure. Yeah, so all the blood here is gone now. To what end, I'm not sure. Maybe that, uh, that big obelisk that was over here. 
Actually, the it, it must be that locked um behind that locked door. Like this must be the where the bridge is. But there's a there's a lock on the door. Like maybe it's not locked now. But it's got to be past here. It is locked. Okay. So maybe maybe there? There's they they hid the key in in the moldy area. As you do. What's that moldy smell? Okay. I have fetched some green mold. Okay. It is beyond my reach. I don't think green mold is going to unlock that door. Do we need permanent spell of might? Need a morsel of giant golden mushroom, a blue adamant, the tongue of a basilisk. Okay. So here, here was the other part with blood in it. So I guess we're checking there now. Take a shortcut here. It's not. Hmm. Oh, squeaky ghost. Man, am I gonna be happy when we're done with this area? So it's in here and on the other side of these two things. Was where the blood used to be. Okay. And whole lot of nothing. Alright. And also nothing. Okay, uh... Poor unfortunate wretch. The door will not open. I assume we can't, uh... The door will not open. Yeah, we can't go back and talk to... Lord of the Dead again. Yeah, it won't let us... It won't budge. Is that... Well, I okay. suppose it's fulfilled its appointed task. Your own blood. Yep. So we need a key. Like, maybe... So are there any areas that were previously inaccessible? Besides the ones we've already been to. I guess I haven't... I haven't explored up here yet. Maybe something's different along here. At least I don't think I went there. Man, Macaw's gonna be in for a real fun time from the sounds of things. <laughs> Hopefully you guys don't give him any help when he asks for it. He's got to be on his own for figuring out all this bullshit. Okay. 
Beware the river of death. Yeah, okay. Alright, nothing... Nothing new here. <laughs> Alright, good. The shedding of blood. The shedding of blood. All your death. To blood of mortality. <laughs> All right, nothing new there. I'm assuming the the bridge didn't just mysteriously appear. Like maybe you can you can just go along here and and cheese past that or something. Like maybe you can sequence break that all right so now we're we're looking for a key into past that gate so there's still the locked jail cell things there's still the the four switches next to where we got the hammer um and i'm not sure what the purpose of those those we can only flip one of those sets of switches at a time. At least that was the case before we we solved the beating heart thing. All right, I'm I'm curious if we can. <laughs> so almost. All right. Well, we made it that far in there. Maybe. <laughs> maybe just maybe. Maybe this is intended. See that? And now there's something over there. Okay, so we... So clearly there's an edge of a bridge there, but the, the bridge isn't active. Okay, so we, we scouted that area at least. <laughs> okay, so we clearly got to get in there as intended. Uh, where might a... Yeah, I loaded in more, more of the level, apparently. Like that... That wasn't there before, clearly. Sure. Like maybe we can we can Bubsy 3D our way over there. Yeah, that this this is probably just a, a guaranteed kill plane. Cause it does let you you skirt along the edge up until about a third of the way through, and then I have a feeling, regardless of what you do, it's going to kill you. If you go any further in. But I'm not I'm not intentionally trying to sequence break here, by the way. Oh, and I, I don't know if you saw the the other weird sequence break thing that I got earlier. I'm going to I'm going to go over there and see if I can get it again. Completely unintended, but I think I, I skipped a decent portion of the game by accident. Which wouldn't be the first the first unintended sequence break in PS Explosion. The other one was in Alone in the Dark 2, which I gladly took because that game sucked. Uh, speed Vestic Yeah, sure. Uh, apparently people do speedrun this game, I think. I think I recall there's at least one speedrun for this. But but apparently the the state of of Sierra speedrunning last I heard is a absolute shit show, especially the King's Quest games, and there isn't a poll long enough for me to want to want to touch adventure game speedrunning from from everything that I've heard about what's been going on with that. 
Okay, so it was it was up here. So this is this is a grapple up point, which I'm gonna legitimately check this because then maybe there's some new plot thing that's up here. But um, the first time when I came through here, I used the grapple to get up to the the top of this building I'm in front of. There was nothing up there, so I grappled back down, and things didn't didn't quite go the same on the way back down. So let's see if it happens again. <laughs> All right, so there's there's nothing here on top of this building, right? So I think all I did was I used the grapple here, and then okay, it actually worked this time. All right, so what happened last time was it warped me to a completely different area of the game. And I'm not sure how that happened, but it actually, like, showed me a cutscene of a different part of the game. Maybe, maybe you have to grapple down this side or something? It was pretty amazing. Yeah, it wasn't here either. Dang it. Uh, room for a shit show. Well, well, to give you an example of just just the drama shit that I was tangentially involved in, uh, there was a guy who asked me very nicely for um, uh, uh, to be a moderator of the uh, of the boards for the game, and I was like, sure. This this guy asked nicely. I, I think I've seen his name around, and I gave him mod of of the King's Quest games, and the first thing he did within minutes of me giving it to him was delete all of my times from the board. <laughs> and apparently he did that for, for other people too. And then would, would get into like weird power struggles with people who actually like ran the games and... You must return safely to Daventry. Oh boy. Alright, so nothing, nothing new with her. Prison. I, I must ponder this problem. And like, and and there was like apparently doxing and shit involved with all of this, and like that was all after I I I pieced out from speedrunning. But like it got things got really fucking ugly apparently with uh, with all that. Like apparently the guy I gave mod to, which I I couldn't revoke, was a real piece of shit apparently. Which yeah, <laughs> that, that's what I've heard. Oh boy, so. So yeah, speed running, speed running as usual. Uh. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we don't have anything left to do. Do around here. Yeah, it's not really the game's fault, but it's it's just involved with it. And yeah, the. Um, uh, back to the the speed runs itself just removed from the drama apparently the the speed runs for the earlier quest games are turn up the cpu speed to 100 percent overclock your cpu to as fast as it goes and then play the game at warp speed so you just beat the game in like a minute with everything going at a million miles an hour and then you can't even tell what's going on and then that's the speed run <laughs> Uh, even though I had rules in place at the time for like, hey, you have to you have to play on this set speed in DOSBox at this for a level playing field at non-stupid speeds, but but the second I was gone, people just threw that out the window and said we're we're going through Space Quest Three in two minutes. Deal with it. And yep, yeah, that's that's speed running for you. Okay, so I I I still think. That this and the switches over here are likely the <sighs> likely the next avenue of looking for progression. <clears throat> half press of an A button, yeah. Well, the the thing with the half press of an A button is that it's a press but not a release, and and that that blows the mind of a lot of people. Okay, maybe I can backflip into where that 
that box is. I still also try and handle this. Oh, I can't... Okay, so here's another downside of using this dumb hammer, is that you can't... You can't hit things through the... <laughs> through these anymore. Alright, the hammer sucks. Okay, so this thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure that this... Probably has the key that we need. Tis beyond my reach. Hmm. I, I I legitimately have a headache right now. By the way, this game is giving me a headache. Oh boy. Yep, stand in the way fast. I, I guess that's that's progress for you. And if we're if we're trying to go fast, then there's nothing faster than. Is beyond my playing a game at, at task speeds, you know, but that's why I'm no longer involved with speedrunning because <laughs> I don't want to deal with that bullshit anymore. Uh, okay, maybe maybe that did something. If one Mario left the station at... Oh, it's just, it's just coins. Well, great. Well, great. Nice. I... Uh... Oh! Hey. Hey. Progress. All right. I was just I was just pressing buttons and we did it. We solved the puzzle. <laughs> All right. Let's... I did it. We stumbled our way into the puzzle solution. Oh boy. Super Mario 64 is on the is on the backlog by the way. I've uh, the farthest I've ever gotten in a playthrough of that was like 10 stars in. I've certainly seen this the speed run enough, but I have not played through that game much at all casually. Come closer, human. You shall learn of your imminent death. I have no desire to die, spirit, as many a corpse will attest. Your quest ends here, mortal. For no one crosses the river of death. There is now a new order, and it shall prevail. My quest is to restore the Mask of Eternity to where it belongs. You shall meet your death, mortal. But I'll not need to soil my hands with your blood. <laughs> You have no room to be a worthy opponent. I I'm hitting the heal key and it's not doing anything. I I was hitting the Perhaps you heard me slamming that heal button and it not doing anything. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh Yep, first first real fight. There there's been plenty of combat. Just once you clear out enemies, they're just kind of gone. Yeah, KK6 combat. Amazing combat in that game. Okay. Come closer, human. You shall learn of your imminent death. I have no desire to die, spirit. As many a corpse will attest. Your Be nice if I could skip these cutscenes. Mortal. For no one crosses the river of death. There is now a new order, and it shall prevail. 
My quest is to restore the Mask of Eternity to where it belongs. You shall meet your death, mortal. But I'll not need to soil my hands with your blood. Taste my Alright, skeletons. Come get some. It'd be nice if I had that crossbow. And then we could just give him the business from a mile away. Uh skeletons? They now let me heal. You may prove to be a worthy opponent. Uh oh. After all. Uh oh. Be prepared to die, human. We shall see. I, uh. I am ready for you, mortal. <laughs> see it. Okay. All right. So once you once you take out the two melee guys and two archers, that guy comes after you. And he just he does a shitload of damage. Hmm. Fascinating. Come closer, human. You shall learn of your All right, we're going to we're going to retreat after no this and make us another spirit. save. As many a corpse will it that we don't have to keep seeing this. Here, mortal, for no one crosses the river of death. There is now a new order and it shall prevail. My quest is to restore the mask of eternity to where it belongs. You shall meet your death, mortal, but I'll not need to soil my hands with your blood. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Alright, do they keep coming after me here? Okay, that one does. Come on, hammer. Man, these things do so much damage. Okay. So it's just us and and boss skeleton now. Okay. Let's run back to the temple and heal up. I'm sure Boss Skeleton won't mind. Maybe I can uh, I can lure him back to fire pits. Well, I don't know. That that seems like an excessive amount of damage that the that skeleton was doing. 
Like maybe we're we're not supposed to fight him, just run past him. Hmm. Either that or there's we give him some mold. We talk it out. If this were an earlier King's Quest game. I'm going to try running past him, and maybe that's, that's how you're supposed to do this? Or make yourself invisible? There's the invisibility thing, but that's, that's for lesser monsters is what the... Uh, okay. <laughs> Be prepared to die, human. We shall see. <clears throat> All right, skeleton. So what, what if... Can we can we talk it over with skeleton once we Huh Hmm Hey Drew Like maybe Maybe I just have to use the the two buff potions and and out heal him. Hmm. <laughs> nope. All right, I I wasn't quite wasn't quite prepared for that one. <laughs> yeah, it's time to start juicing. That's that might be our only our only chance of beating big boy skeleton. <sighs> Unless there's some some puzzle solution to to being it, but what that would be, I have no idea. Maybe, maybe he's an illusion? Right. Okay, we got this. All we gotta do is click the hell out of that left mouse button. Okay. <laughs> well, that was... That was difficult. Looks to be a type of mechanical lever. Ho! Oh, it worked! Ho! Oh. Okay. Well... <laughs> that was... A little underwhelming, but okay. Got him. I was nowhere near as that epic with the the epic battle with the the skeleton on top of the 
uh, that platform thing. Okay, unloading files from the hard drive is what it's currently doing, and then it's gotta copy the other files from from the disk, which is on an SSD. Oh boy, what a great feature! <laughs> Incredible. It could at least stream in music from the, the CD while it's doing this, but 1998 technology. Okay, so we're we're now in this area of the game, apparently, which is the the swamp. Where am I now? A swamp? Oh, baby. They're, they're gonna get a lot of mileage out of this texture, I guess. Okay. So that that thing is one of the enemies. I remember that from the the manual. All right, swamp start. We made it. Okay. All right. Aren't these the things from the the end of Half-Life 1? Alright. Alright, later, Hidden. Have a good sleep. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. So where are we on the map? Okay. Interesting, we, we start in roughly the same place on every map that we we enter. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, there's... There's lots of... Mushrooms, at least. <laughs> P.O.'d. Uh, what a game. P.O.'d. That... That looks like a thing over there. Okay. I can already tell this area is going to be awful. Pick up these mushrooms. Okay. So according to the the map, there are there's something here. Okay. Okay. Sure. Uh, the mushrooms are a mushroom with curative properties. A mushroom with curative properties. So uh, everything in the the four slots on the left here are healing items. They go up in strength. And then these four are magical magical effect potions. And then everything up here is uh, plot stuff. Okay, so we got another swamp dude over here. Okay, so we got to level up. Yeah, we've conquered conquered hell and now we're on to Lo, a giant golden mushroom. Lo. Oh. Just got stumbled into this. Permanent spell of might. Need a morsel of giant golden mushroom. Okay. Well, that that's this apparently. 
Okay. Cool. I'm glad I stumbled into that. Otherwise, I probably would have had no idea. Did this guy drop something? Uh, I guess not. Okay. Sure. The ever informative Swamp One save. Okay. Well, at least the music is is better in this area of the game. <laughs> I'm sure it'll become just as annoying as the the Realm of Death music by the end of this area, but so far I think this is an improvement. This is giving me like a, a Resident Evil vibe to this music. Brought a friend. manual. Okay, the swamp. Swamp is an area not far from Daventry with all the road next blocks off. Find a way there if they do them to death. Yep. Poisonous pools of water, swamp slime, and other dangerous creatures. Sure. Uh, skeleton. There's a commander skeleton. That's the one we, we blew up. Be prepared to use your health items quickly. A potion of shield is not a bad idea either. Okay. Sure. Um, okay, scavenger slime. Slime is a creature found only in the swamp. Spits poisonous glob sludge. Fast and skittish. Relentless in their attack, yeah. Carnivorous plant. They hide underwater and pop up with a bite. Uh, they're rooted where they are. Ranged weapons are ineffective. Okay. Mandragore tree is a most powerful opponent. Heart of the beast. Oh man. Okay, this is this is probably the boss of the area, I'm guessing. Okay, bubble monster. Uh live underwater. Some kind of tentacle, strike without warning. Watch and listen carefully. Okay, so I'm not I'm not sure if we can even if we can even defeat these. But it, from the sounds of this, we just need to steer clear of them from the looks of things. Uh and then Swamp Fiend. Fairly slow and dumb. Watch out, they run in packs. Sure. Swamp Witch. Uh, there's fireballs. Heavy battle with lots of healing potions. Great. Can't wait. Bat Manta. That's a gnome. Okay. Alright. Okay. So we'll, we'll continue heading north, I guess. And just... Stay away from the bo Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> so maybe... Alright. So according to the manual, this is one bad dude over here. Oh, this is the heal. Okay. Alright. Good. I'm so glad they put in these heal things. Alright. Good, so we found that. Also very lucky I found that early on. Okay. Oh jeez, there's two of them. Well, once we, once we kill them, they won't respawn. At least. But... I think I want to deal with those later. 
so maybe start heading this direction. Can I get that from here? I can. Yes, please attack me nearby the healing thing. Uh. <laughs> okay. Assuming these aren't these aren't enemies, these are just, just critters. Okay. It is beyond my reach. All right, let's see what's over here. Hmm. Hey. Got him. So it looks like enemies in here, don't drop money. Which, sure. I'll believe that. Why is this suddenly getting super loud? <laughs> hey. Oh man. There better be boots of of walking on walking in swamp water in this area because if we have to move this quickly throughout the whole area this is going to be lots of fun oh okay here's, here's this guy yes come over here Perfect. All right, that works out. Well, how how do they pay for swamp goods and services now? Ugh. Okay. Looks like there's something the north of there. Got to be on the lookout for swamp <laughs> bubbles too. What? What? See? What? What? Okay. Oh. Hello. Oh my god, I hate this hammer. <laughs> Good lord. Just, just give me another bow game. What? Okay, so, so those, so the, okay. Okay, I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out, you guys. What? Oh, shit! I thought that was an NPC. <laughs> I thought that was like somebody in a cloak standing there. Oh, man. Okay, I thought 
I thought that was... I thought this was an NPC. Like... Like, they have a green cloak on with a red fringe on it. Like, clearly that's an NPC. No, it is not. Okay, so there's... There's a house up there. Uh, we can probably use the rope and grapnel up there. Yeah, they're, they're an NPC, just not a friendly one. <laughs> Though it, it could have been just like that, the unicorn from the, the start of the game. That clearly that thing needs to be killed with fire, but nope, it's a friendly NPC. A place to use my map. I can magically transport from here. Hello. It's in this random hut. Hello. Hello. A Hello. Okay. I don't really see a need to teleport out of here just yet, but okay. At least we found it. Okay. No, that that's a friendly portal. That lets us uh, um, use the magic map to teleport to uh, other teleport points we've already found in other lands. As far as I know, there's only one teleport point in each each land. There's there's one in Daventry in the old castle. There is one in the Land of the Dead in, uh... Uh, kind of in the middle of the map. And now here's this one. Okay. Or I assume, yeah, that's, that's true. It could be Roberta playing tricks on us again. Hmm. Okay. So since those are marked on the map, maybe we can't get past there until some later point. Why does the music get so loud at this? Like. <laughs> They made that unnecessarily loud. And also this is... I, I probably should have looked at the map where... Hey, that's poison. Okay, I guess we're heading... Heading that way, then. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... So some of this... This doesn't clearly note where... The, the walls of the valley are. Great. So that's gonna make exploring extra awful. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, just, just come at me. Oh my god, the hammer sucks. Okay. Alright, I, I think I actually want to head back to that. Because we, we used a lot of healing.
Ooh, boy. I wonder if I can... If there's a spot around here where I can run. Like, maybe along here. And I can explore past these guys. Alright. I'm curious how much damage these guys do, or what they even do with their attacks. Uh, okay. Maybe if, if you don't bother them, they don't bother you? On my reach. I'm a lucky fellow. Assuredly, I shall fare better. All right, we got rid of the dumbass hammer. All right, that was worth it. <laughs> and we just got got poked by roots. Okay, worth it. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! All right! All right! Worth it. I'm so glad I checked. Man, we can just... We're just dumping now. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So... I get the feeling that this area is a lot smaller than the other ones, because it's it's more natural shaped. Uh, so let's head down this way. This looks like there's something important there. Still gotta be okay. So there's, there's the bubble monster. All right, quiet bat. Wait, that I defeated the bubble monster. I just got XP for something. Okay, you can beat the Bubbons. Okay. <clears throat> no, you have you have infinite ammo for uh, for ranged weapons in this game, at least so far. Oh man, this is great. This is great. All right, here's the the Deku tree. Yon tree has an unusual look. Perhaps I should examine it more closely. But first... We got arrows to shoot. Okay. Yeah, this bow is pretty good. Uh, this looks like the, the kind of tree that, that will eat you if you get too close. But I guess the, the, the Deku tree also technically ate you. So. Hail, oh. honor of Daventry. Hold, how came you to know of me? I am the Oracle of the Tree. I know all. I speak seldom. Why seldom? My prophecies are... Only for those deserving. Tell me, O oh tree, am I deserving? Thou art, but only for the gift of a gold piece. Verily, a tree has no use for gold. He is more noble that deserves than he that receives benefits. Oh, sure. Tis fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tree. 
sure. The okay. So we finally have a use for gold. It's giving it to a tree? One gold coin, sir. Where the mask once sat, now doth sit a pretender. Deeds are fruits. Words are but leaves. I want my money back. <laughs> Strength and righteousness grow stronger by being tried. So, so we are getting XP from this, at least. So it's, it's kind of halfway right now between there. So let's see how much we get. Where the oh, sinner okay. cannot come, he shall sin. So we got, we got a little bit of XP there. He that doeth evil abhorreth the light. So are we getting scammed by a tree right now? He who coveted all hath now brought on sin. Thou shalt go, thou shalt return, never shalt thou perish. The mask shall deliver victory unto the hand of the righteous. Wise tree, would you perchance tell me again the cost of each prophecy? One gold piece. Aye, thank you. Good talk, Tree. The tree gets Shenmue music. For some reason. Alright, Bat. Can catch these arrows. The bow's pretty good. That was like four hits and got him. Okay. All right, this, this infinite bow ammo is a little busted. Uh, I don't see any bubble monsters around here. Okay. Well, all right, so this, this is poison, I think. So we can't, can't go over there, I think. So even, okay, you can't even get close to him. Okay. So we've already been up this way. We can't go over there. So I guess south from the, the tree is kind of our next spot. I am having a fantastic holiday season. Playing some King's Quest. Alright. 
I know the solution to this puzzle. Is that that was the same puzzle as uh, the first area of the game. Game looks fun. It, it, it's pretty good. Excellent. These chainmail gloves will prove useful indeed. Okay. Oh, this is. That's looking a little. Sure. Arms don't do that. <laughs> I vow you freedom from this evil imprisonment. I shall not stop until this madness is destroyed. I vow you freedom from this evil imprisonment. I trust these poor people will understand my need for their gold. Tis empty. Yeah, we got a we got a tree to pay. All right, one very narrow bed for the two of them. Sure. Just come right at me. Okay. Free XP. I trust these poor people will understand my name. And it's just gold? gold? Uh, and a horn. I trust these poor people will understand my need for their gold. I bring with me a hearing horn. A, a hearing horn. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything over there. That's certainly another place to look. Yeah, this uh, this one is very different from the other King's Quest games. This one's more like an action RPG. Uh, it is. It is not really an adventure game like the other ones in the series. This one's. Uh, this one's closer to Quest for Glory, but even Quest for Glory had a, a large emphasis on um, exploration, dialogue, and puzzles. In this game, the emphasis is on exploration, combat, uh, and then and then puzzles is kind of the, the three priorities for this game. And combat really wasn't a thing in the the previous ones besides uh like one technically you could say there is combat if you if you decided to kill like the dragon and the the giant um two i don't think you could kill anything from what i remember uh Three, there wasn't combat. Four, no. Five, no. Besides, like, the magic battle at the end. But that's... Those are puzzles. Six had the incredible combat sequence at the very end. Uh, seven, no combat. And then this one, where we're... <laughs> we're shooting things until they explode into blood. And then the very beginning of this game... You start off with your bare hands, and you can uh, you can punch things until they exploded into a cloud of blood, which that's what I come to King's Quest for. <laughs> that is King's Quest in a nutshell for me. Okay, so that's that's more poison. So is this poison here? If I go into this, no. Okay. So there's another thing over here. 
Kevin Michael Richardson. I the name is not familiar to me yet. Oh jeez. Is this poison too? It is. Okay. And it's not giving me the near anything to climb. The grapple point around here. So maybe we have to approach this from from that way. So we need to go all the way all the way over there, it looks like. Great. So that's be nice if the camera like tilted up a little bit. Okay, can we can we go along here? Nope. Okay. <laughs> we can heal our way through it though. Uh there's another another bubble monster over there. But there's a tree in the way. Got him. Alright, this is where the tree was. Oh, nice. So, prolific voice actor. Okay, let's go to the, the heal thing again. Get that HP back. Well, the the thing with with this and why they they kind of changed up the formula was uh, the the industry as a whole in the like let's say from ninety six ninety five uh, they were moving away from from traditional adventure games because uh, because for the most part. Um, uh, there was a lot of really bad FMV games in the early 90s that uh, kind of soured the, the general gaming public's opinion of adventure games at the time. So by releasing just a straight up adventure game in the late 90s was kind of asking for it to be a, a flop at the time. Which is kind of why the, the genre died out for a while. Because they, there was a lot of, of garbage that was released <laughs> in the around that time. Like pretty much every Sega CD game. That that's essentially what adventure games kind of turned into for a while, and that's why they felt the uh, the need to um, make this version of the game or this installment of the game more action oriented. Even though they already had a more action-y franchise in the quest series, in the, the quest for glory. Hey, oh jeez. They made their, their flagship King's Quest game and adventure game. And then they, uh, uh, I believe a year afterwards, after this, was uh, Quest for Glory 5. And then that was, that was pretty much the last the last real quest game from Sierra, now that I think about it, besides like Police Quest SWAT, which those aren't adventure games really. This. Alright, have fun sleeping. Tis beyond my reach. I Good creatures, of what do you speak? Good creatures. Okay, this is probably what this is for. Tower. 
A mask piece is in the witch's tower? A mask piece? Oh, drat. Oh, drat. All right. Nice going, Connor. Okay, well, I probably could have guessed that, but sure. All right, Bat. Get some. Okay. Is this is this ASMR, you guys? There you go. There. There's your daily dose of ASMR. Okay, so over there. So we have to get up there somehow. So I don't I don't think we can get past this poison poison bog just yet. And I have a feeling what we need to get past the poison bog is probably past here, past the these things. And maybe now that we have the the bow and arrow, we can get past that. Maybe. Hmm. I don't think this this dumbass tree is going to be any help. Man, I, I like this area of the game way better than the last area, though. <laughs> uh... Okay. This is a lot more fun than running away from skeletons and yeah! cryptic puzzles. Okay. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can do there. I am not near anything to climb. This is a slice of golden mushroom. I have fetched some green mold. Uh, I like this area. Well, the, the bow certainly helps. But I like that I can see more than, than 10 feet in front of me. We can see like 15 feet now. Um, I like the music. Uh Okay, I think I think we're heading there cuz we can't get past this. This is just poison bog from what I saw. These guys we probably don't even have to defeat. And I don't I don't particularly want to try. So we'll we'll head up to the healing spot first and then hook our way over to here and see if we can get past those uh those plants. Oh, man. I already know where the witch's tower is. It's, it's right here. It's clearly this. <laughs> we just can't get over there yet. It is clearly that. Yeah, we can't we can't use the bow on uh, on tree dudes. And speaking of witches, the the manual it does say the the swamp witch, slow moving, uh, heavy battle, lots of healing. So, so, yeah, and then the, the Mandragore trees, ranged weapons are completely useless against these things. So, but that's, that's the witch of the witch's tower, apparently. All right. Well, let's see if we can somehow make it past those, those guard plants. Like maybe maybe now that we have the bow we can
Well, that went pretty smoothly. All right. Uh-oh. Okay. Hello, small creatures. Who are you? Swamp wisps, stranger. I eat holiday flowers, drink honeydew, annoy frogs, but of most import, we collect secrets. Tis our passion. <laughs> where do you find such secrets? All around. One just needs to know where to seek. If we do avoid the witch's cold, as she has been specially nasty since the dreadful tempest. Forsooth! And her poisonous water makes us so ill! Tell me, good wisps, how can one protect himself against this poisonous water? Tut! We know something which can guard against poisonous swamp water in return for a nice, juicy secret. What? Yes, a secret. Bring us a delicious secret and we shall give you an antidote for the poisonous water. Well, I shall try. Thank you, good wisps. Will they take the secret of the mask piece being in the witch's tower? Harkin, I have discovered an incredible secret. Oh, do tell, do tell. I tell, tell, tell. Well... I have learned that the witch keeps a piece of the Mask of Eternity in her tower. No! You oh, bravo, bravo! An astonishing secret. And now, good stranger, your reward. Okay. Lo! Yon blossom! A flower, good wisps. Aye, sir. Eat this blossom. Twill protect you against the witch's poisonous water. Oh, oh I am so excited! Wait till Mudge hears! Mudge? Who is Mudge? Oh, the Swamp King, of course. You really must find him. Okay. Is there any more you can tell me, Good Wisps? Well, we have a secret for you! Yes, for you! Find the Golden Ladle, Stranger. It has powers to cleanse the poisonous water. Tis good advice. Thank you, small wisps. All right, eat that whole thing in one go. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Do you require more secrets, good wisps? No, stranger. Tis all we need. All right. So now we can theoretically uh can cross poison. So we can we can probably go straight to the the witch's place now, I guess. I'm assuming we don't need the to meet the swamp king or anything. Okay. Oh.
All right, let's test and see if the poison cure thing works. Okay. All right, celebrate by blowing up this bat. Okay, so now that we can cross poison, we can go over here, we can go down here. So this is likely where the Mask of Eternity piece is. But I'm guessing that before we can, like, open a door, we need a key, and the key's probably over here or something. Because that's how these games work. So, let's see. Unless this is the... the witch's place now. There a, there a radio up here? Is this fallout now? Oh, okay. There's a... That's probably the entrance to the next, uh, the next land, the land of gnomes. What is this? Tis shaped like a hand, but a hand much larger than my own. Sure. There's something here. Okay. Do you have anything? This will not work. Sure. Okay. <clears throat> that's... That's clearly for later. So that leaves the the witch's place now. This is a much shorter area than the the death area. Assuming this is all there is to this area. Okay, so that leaves just down here, I guess. I guess we could check in with with Scammer Tree again, but I kind of don't see the point. I guess we can pick up these now that we can enter this area. Yeah. So now we look for the way up. Oh, those are skeletons. Oh. I me, which you. Can I cheese this out? 
Yeah. All right. I'm not even sure if I'm hitting her. I went okay. That uh, that took a lot of arrows. And then this guy's just watching. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if that's a bubble monster, but okay. All right. Got her. Bullseye. Sure. All right. This, this is the witch tower. Okay. Sometimes the cheese strat is is going to be the best strat for for games like this because. These games don't always play fair, so... Unicorn horn! Oh! This is... This is where that... That was the witch... Okay. I carry a magnificent horn of a unicorn. Hey. My children of darkness. I require thy service. A human male will infiltrate. I want his prompt death. Sounds. A vision of my opponent. Now to find him. Zounds. It is a book of recipes. What is this? Goblin Tartar. Take a dead goblin, remove its black heart with a unicorn horn, chop its... Oh, no, thank you. Sure. This is... This looks safe. Rock. Wretches. Near a chance had they against the witches' wiles. Okay. Alright, so this is... Clearly a trap. Okay, maybe the... Okay. Maybe we just run through it. Okay. Sure. This one... That one we probably need the rock for. Mushrooms for days here. Okay. Dang. Okay. All right, I'm guessing we gotta trigger the trap here. Oh, we should explore outside first. That's probably where the mask piece is. Mm. 
nice creepy song for the, the creepy witch's hideout. This is like the one of the Grand Stream dungeon themes. I forget which one. It's been a while. I'll have to play the game again to uh, refresh my memory. Okay, that's one of those. Good. Alright, we are doing pretty good on healing items now. Might have been the magical labyrinth, maybe? Okay. So if my thought is correct... Yep. Perfect. Celebrate by jumping face first into this wall. Alright. Is there a witch up here? Is that really the only witch here? Okay, and there's a, a fire extinguisher. Ah, a chainmail suit. Some poor fellow's loss is my gain. So that's 27 armor. As opposed to... Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna assume that is... That's better. Alright, fine. Well, let's just assume that's better. <laughs> Banjo? Yeah. yeah. I can see that. You mean the, the airship banjo? The battleship banjo? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Another piece of the mask. The mask piece. It belongs to my master. Take it from me then, Blackguard. Oh, man. Okay. Then we get... Oh, okay. So that, that'll that open that gate that we came across. Okay. Excellent. Yep. Hey, it... If you use enough force, anything can be a stabbing weapon. Abraham Lincoln, 2019. Uh. I, I could just gone there, but okay, whatever. Whatever. Is that tree still? Yeah. Yes, it is. There's our second crash. All right. We only lost four minutes. <laughs> but hey, on the bright side here, on the bright side, oh shit, we got to do that fight again. <laughs> okay, now, now I know in advance that that, that fight's not too bad. Copying files to hard drive. All right. 
So now I know in advance that we can, uh, uh, I can save my healing items. Yeah, we get to, we get to see that incredible mace stab again. Yep. Uh. <sighs> yeah, because I'm still over here. Uh, so I think I got, I got to pick up, yeah, I got to pick up all these again. Okay. We already got all those. I, uh, uh, hmm. um, watch my step. Ah, uh, God. Well, that that didn't go to plan. All right. Hey, remember when I I got all these? I can put this way. Oh boy. Okay. All right, this time with less, less failure. Okay. Ah, a chainmail suit. Some poor fellow's loss is my gain. Now we can see the incredible may stab. Tis here, another piece of the mask. The mask piece. It belongs to my master. Take it from me then, Blackguard. Yep, he just stabs him with that mace. <laughs> sure. And then we leveled up anyways. Okay. What? Ha what? What? How was I low on health last time then? What? <laughs> It's because- oh, it's because of this. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> okay. That makes more sense. That is why. Alright. Okay. North of here. Alright, what if I go this way? On the way out. Maybe it won't crash. I missed a gauntlet? No, 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 that was the, um... So each time you... You equip a... Suit of armor... Um... Let me... I don't... We haven't come across this yet in the game, so I'll... I'll point this out here. Uh... Ba -ba -ba -ba, armor. 
So there is uh, some armor comes as a complete suit. If you're wearing a suit of armor and click on a single piece like gloves, Connor will move the full suit to put on a single item. Uh, in almost all cases, you'll want to keep a full suit over swapping for a single item. So that's that's why. So this is a complete set of, of armor. And this is the first complete set we've come across in the game. So it, it dropped all of his items on the ground when he got the complete set of armor. And our old armor used to be 25, and now it's 27, so we got a whole two extra armor from, from the deal here. Alright. Don't crash, game. Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay, that that's what you meant. Yeah, yeah you're right, Ed. You're right. Thank you, Alyssa. <laughs> You're right. We need that that hand to open the open the gate. You're absolutely right. In my hurry to leave, completely forgot that we need the, the key item from defeating the the guard. Yeah, the manuals, the manuals are pretty thorough, like, um, this is probably one of the more thorough manuals of the, of the games, like, the, the, the most sparse one was seven, because there's not much to seven. Um, I think King's Quest 1's was unnecessarily complicated, because it's... Well, okay, maybe it was necessary because it, kind of, it was kind of the first game of that type for a lot of people, and they do have to be really specific for how to King's Quest. Uh, and probably the best manual so far is um, is six because it was all done in character, I guess, and in lore, and it blended the the lore of the the world with with how to King's Quest. Because there's, there's just a whole lot to like about King's Quest 6. And that is just one small part of it. Yeah, 6 had a lot a lot going for it. I think 6 so far had the, the coolest puzzles out of them. Of like, of of the 8 games, 8 King's Quest games made by Sierra that we've we played through, the ones that stick out the most to me are 6, 3, and um, kind of this one so far. I'm still liking this one, despite uh, despite issues in uh, the Land of the Dead. This one's been pretty good. All right, let's uh, let's go open up that area to the next part. All right, so just straight west of here. Yeah, it's certainly different. It certainly sticks out. So as far as like future playthroughs of Sierra Quest games, um, probably going to be at least a month before we we move on to those. Like, I might do something like Codename Iceman, or I'm actually thinking of tracking down a copy of uh, um, a Mystery House, the very first uh, Roberta Williams game of that amazing one, and we can we can give that one a go. But there's like there's standalone games like like Mystery House and uh, Codename Iceman, um, Willy Beamish kind of counts. So that's that's a Dynamics game. Ones like those. Uh, and for the next like full series playthrough, the the possibilities are Space Quest, Quest for Glory, and Police Quest. 
are those, and I, I don't know. I don't really have a preference for which one to do. Okay. It is astounding. It worked. Sounds. Her weapon will not help me here. Oh God. Oh no. Oh boy, this looks, this looks great. It is beyond my reach. All right, I'm. I'm guessing these ones are spikes and they'll probably. Oh, that's. Ah, uh, sure. Okay, so not that one. How the fuck are you supposed to know what... Is this just actually trial and error? Okay, well, it's... Oh my god. This, this is so bad. This is horrible. Okay. Uh, shit. I don't think the tree told us. Um... Okay, can we... Can we get out the, the graph paper here? This is fucking awful. Okay. So it's... Six by... By seven? One, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So the first one is this one, apparently. Uh, so that one, and then this one. So this one, this one, and then this one, perhaps? Yes. And then that one. This one? No. Can we just... Sure. Sure. Fine. And then there... And then we get jumped at the end of it. 
Wow, what a what a fantastic I bear a piece of the mask of eternity. Okay, so that I possess a golden ladle. The golden ladle, okay. It is beyond my reach. So that probably turns off the traps, I'm guessing. He that hath once the ladle of the sun, the perfect gold, the perfect elixir, can confer purity, virtue, peace, and love. Ah, I see. So that the golden ladle will cure the poison. The uh, poison in the swamp? A weapon will not help me here. I, oh, I, uh... So I need to know which ones won't hurt me on the way back now? This is the start and finish. Okay. These better not be hit me with fire. Okay, good. Alright, I'm assuming there's nothing else over there. Well, shit. I don't know where the, the entrance to... The next area is the. <laughs> uh, I thought this was it, but apparently not. Maybe it'll reveal itself to us now that we were able to cure the poison. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. It's not, let me... Sure. Nice. So, my, I, have, I have a delivery coming in that I've been waiting for for about a week. That got delivered, or shipped from Detroit. And it made it to Sacramento two days ago. And I just got an update. And, hey, it's still in Sacramento. <laughs> Because the scheduled delivery is tomorrow, not, not the, the delivery is Tuesday, not Monday. So they're they're sitting on my, my delivery. <laughs> oh, FedEx. Uh, okay, so maybe I gotta use this here. No. Okay. Maybe I have to give the ladle to the, the tree. I guess we can um, we can also go back to Daventry and uh, give the horn back to the, the unicorn. So how about we do that? That's up this way. Yeah, it is the holidays, but usually when um, uh, when a delivery. Like like last week, for example, they they actually did deliver it when they got the package in the area before. Like even though it was scheduled for on a Friday, if they if they get it into the area on a Wednesday, they actually do deliver it on on the Wednesday here, which they actually didn't do when I was. I just realized I could be running here, which they didn't do when I was living in San Diego. But here in the Bay Area or in Central Coast, I guess is technically where I am. Um. They're a lot better with deliveries here for some reason. <laughs> Don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm in a much smaller town now. But... Ah. 
All right, so we're warping to Daventry. Uh, gonna give the unicorn. All right, hopefully the game doesn't crash because it's it's been a while since we saved. <laughs> um, so we're gonna give the unicorn back its horn, and hopefully that that does something. I'm hoping. But first and foremost, I hope the game doesn't crash. So I'm assuming this area is the the next area because I think it's the underground kingdom of the gnomes is the the next thing according to the manual at least. And then after that is the desert and then after that is the snow area and then it's the the sky area. Nice of the manual to just straight up tell you the entire game before you even play it. All right, so Unicorn was down over here. We're also, now that I now that I think about it, we're level 20. The level cap in the game is level 25, apparently. Or there's there's some sort of restriction that, that comes into play at level 25. Kind beast, I have found your horn. I am pleased to return it to you. No! I cannot believe it. Me thought it gone forever. So this is the unicorn, by the way. Okay, yeah. Yep, that's a unicorn. Sir Knight, I wish to thank thee for the return of the <laughs> As thou can see, my true form hath been restored. That's a pretty great talking animation. To show my gratitude, I present to thee this small crystal pyramid. It once sparkled clear and bright, but since the evil magic, it hath dimmed and darkened. I know not why. Perhaps thou canst seek the cause. I am honored, noble beast. The mysterious darkening of yon crystal may be difficult to learn, but I am willing to try. By the Lord of Sunshine, tis evident thou art the one chosen. Be well, and good speed. Thanks? Oh, oh god. Alright, we... A small crystal pyramid dimmed by a mysterious darkness. Okay. Alright, can we hear this with this? Okay, can we walk through this now, at least? Okay. Well, great. Thanks, unicorn. For your gift of whatever the hell that thing is. Um, I don't think there's any... Any remaining things? I guess I can go check in with wizard wizard again uh but besides the unicorn i don't think there's any unresolved things left in uh left in daventry and there there's no respawns so like i i kind of suspected once you clear out an area it's it's cleared out Yep, the the horse talk, <laughs> the three frames of horse horse jaw animation, and then the 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 unicorn just kind of folds itself into into a black hole, and then then pieces out. That was that was a quality scene. Thank you for all of your help, Sir Wizard. You are welcome, lad. Good luck. Okay, well. 
nothing new with the wizard. Okay. So now what? I don't... Hmm. So as for... As for things left to do in... In the swamp... Maybe we use the ladle in that the cooking pot in the witch's area, maybe? Or... Or we talk to the tree? But it, it sure seems like we're done with the, the swamp area, but we don't have access to the next area. There's really much left to do here. Besides, we probably can't uh, can't help her go home unless uh, we have the potion of might, which we can't quite make yet. Um, we still need the the mandrake or something. I don't, I don't know. We don't have everything we need for that yet. Uh, the swamp, and then we can't teleport to Castle Daventry. Okay, so back to the swamp. But what we do when we get there, I am not sure. Maybe you can talk to the, the pixies again? Perhaps? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. It's a mystery. So nine and a half hours into this one. At least two hours of that has been just me being stuck <laughs> so far. Which, yeah, that, that, that's about right for the ratio for this uh, this kind of game. So we'll we'll never really know how uh, how much I would have gotten stuck on five, six, and seven because I I had already played those before prior to this playthrough. Five I probably would have gotten completely stuck on a few. Uh, fuck. Uh. Okay, well, we we don't need to. Uh, we we can do the unicorn thing later because that clearly was non-essential. Oh, good lord! That, that's crash number three. We're doing so good on not crashing. Oh my god. King's Quest, King's Quest, King's Quest, huh? Yeesh. Okay. Well, we're back in the swamp, at least. Okay, so... So, will this, uh... Anything left to do in here? <laughs> yeah, you never know. You never know. He that hath once the ladle of the st yeah. He 
that he that he that hath won. Well, it, it probably is essential, but I, I might not need it right now. So it could be a side quest because they will not help me here. I think the the manual actually just straight up says like, hey, you don't have to do everything in the game, and that was the case for for all the previous games too, except for seven. Dude, you pretty much had to do everything in seven. Aside from one minor thing at the very end. Besides that one thing. Oh, also, speaking of other possible Sierra Adventure games to play that aren't in a full series. Well, not quite a full series. The, um, the Laura Bow games. There's two of them. There's the Colonel's Bequest and the Dagger of Almond Ra. And I've heard both of those games are really good. And I've... I have never played them before. I've never seen them played before. I have never heard of what... how they're played, so... It'll be about as blind as blind can be. Or, uh... A play through those. And they, um... The mechanics of those, from what I... What little I know is that it's, uh... It's pretty significantly different from... Uh, King's Quest games. It's almost like a LucasArts game, and, uh... Uh, the amount of different actions you can do, and your uh, your dialogue choices. Okay, I'm gonna talk to the tree again, and maybe the the tree wants our ladle. Wise tree, would you perchance tell me again the cost of each prophecy? One gold piece. Aye, thank you. Aye. Only gold, <laughs> Connor of Daventry. Okay. The father of demons and abominations before the altar stands. He that would enter into a higher realm must have a good key. The virtue of the golden ladle is within you. It shall purge the poison and restore the purity. O okay. That's still really vague, though. That is all. Oh. Connor of Daventry. I speak no more. Okay. That is all. Connor of Daventry. I speak no more. Okay. So where would we... Okay. So, one of my initial thoughts for the ladle is using it in the, the cauldron that was over by the witches. And maybe that, uh... That'll do something? Maybe. Must, like, use it here? Tis beyond my oh. reach. Here? This will not work. This will not work. This will not work. Oh, foul poison. Tis concocted within the tower. Within the tower, okay. 
and it's probably this. Hey. He's a wondrous magic. Eternal. Who are you, sir? Snail? I am King Mudge. This swamp is my realm, and all here are my subjects. I understand you slew the vile witch. Aye, I did, sire. <laughs> How wonderful. I couldn't tolerate that old Biddy, especially after she poisoned our lovely swamp. But now, because of you, our water is pure once more. I wish to express my supreme gratitude, Sir Champion. I humbly accept your appreciation, sire. But pray, can you give me counsel on- Stay! We must quickly devise your exit. Now, champion, behold, the portal to the underground realm of the gnomes. Wait, where are you going? Sir. So. This leads to an underground realm of gnomes? Sure. That seems safe. Alright. Okay, hopefully the... This area is going to be just as straightforward as uh, the swamp is. I have a feeling it isn't though, because... Usually the the underground ones are just a mess of a maze. That uh for for games that have an underground area, it it's usually an excuse to make a maze. And uh not looking forward to that. Yep, this this looks like a maze to me. This must be the realm of the gnomes. Yep. 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 Oh my god, and it's enormous too. It's an enormous me. <laughs> oh god. Uh, I guess the realm of the dead was kind of an enormous maze too. Okay. That'll be where we call it for tonight though. Gnome start. Good progress tonight. Sounds amaze. Alright. Save. Did it. Okay. Stop the timer. Alright. So that'll do it for tonight. Thank you for watching. Um. I'm probably not going to be streaming tomorrow because I got things to do tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Night after that is what? The 20, 24th? Christmas Eve? Yeah, I'm probably going to stream for then and probably Christmas Day too. Uh, but tomorrow I do have things to do. And then later in the week uh, I do have things to do as well. So um, let's say in the next five or so days I'm probably going to stream two to three times uh, but definitely not tomorrow so mark your calendars as Puri is not streaming tomorrow <laughs> okay okay all right hope you all have a great day night morning or evening wherever you are thank you for watching and i will see you next time take care